Um, today is February 25th, 2023, and this is Heal, Teach, Love. Um, I'm Deb Purcell. This is my husband, Rick, and we are healers. My husband, uh, for those who don't know us, my husband's energy merged with creator, source, God, whatever name you want to give him, uh, many years ago, about six or seven years ago now. Uh, and when that happened, I started receiving downloads and started seeing inside people's bodies. Uh, so when the healing happens, um, I get the downloads. He actually is the healer, but I uh, I get to see and and uh, start giving you the information because I see it. Um, we also can see whether we can tell if somebody's lying to us. We see your past lives, and um, we ha- I also channel information from whoever wants to come through, uh, whether it's an archangel or can even be your, your guardian angels. And um, we also heal animals, which is why we're here today. And uh, a couple of years ago, we started working with uh, Philip Barrow and uh, he is our colleague. So Philip, take it away and start telling him about yourself. Thank you, Deb. That was quite good. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. You almost jinxed me. Uh, I started hearing when I was five years old and it was a goldfish uh, called Ovet. Uh, I think it was a runner at the time called uh, Ovet. And he died for 24 hours and I gave him uh, a scene on telly about kiss of life. So I gave him the kiss of life and then my hands glowed and all of a sudden he came back to life. And from there, I used to do a lot of healing. I, I thought I was the only one who could do healing as a child. I thought it was just a gift I had. And then uh, about 20 odd years ago, I, I noticed an advert in the papers that you could go an accredited healing course at college. Things change, don't they, where you can actually go to college, do something. 500 years ago, you would have been uh, looked as a, as a witch. So it's quite, so I did a two year course uh, I also have, I've healed, uh, I once healed a dog that was going to get put down and I gave it another two years. It lived till 17. I, I, I also did healing on my children's hamster and lived to it. It was on its last legs kicking out and uh, it was two and a half. It, it lived till it was five, which uh, is a world record, which isn't bad. But uh, just to show you things that are amazing, last night I was doing. Uh, judo coaching and the other coach had injured his knee and he's injured it two months ago he had scans on it he had this treatment he had all the doctors we wanted to do is painkiller giving painkillers i put my hands on his knee for two minutes and the pain went that's as quick as you know it's not a miracle it's just uh, an ability that we all got and we just stopped using it and he was quite amazed he didn't think it worked but it did so it can work on people even if they don't believe it will work so that was this week's uh, fascinating time. So oh, back to you then, Deb. Yeah. But we're all we're glad you're all here, and so we're going to start. Lily is our admin who will uh, go down the list of people. And uh, if you have a chat pane, uh, put in your information on exactly what you would like uh, us to take care of today. Pets will go first, and then humans after that that would like healing today. So Lily, we're ready. Yeah, the first one you said is your cousin? My cousin, Deb. Okay, let me get her information up. Her name is also Deb. It is. My cousin, (laughs) Deb. Deborah (laughs) Davenport. She lives in North Carolina. And her dog, Bella, she didn't give me any details. So we'll just look and see what comes up. (laughs) And oddly enough, my cousin is a psychic. (laughs) But she's not a healer. This is Bella. Well, I'm getting kidneys. I'm actually getting chest. So yeah, kidneys. You know, eating. You know, is it eating disorder? Mm. It's a beautiful picture, isn't it? Yeah, but just said uh, again. Just saw a bunch of her past lives. She's always been this color, except for one time she was a black panther. The hawk, the same color. I don't know why they keep flashing these other lies? She ate something. Well, yeah, food. Sorry, Deb. I feel bad back as well. Yeah. How old is she? I don't she know. Like I feel like there's a poison in her. Like a, a, there's a little bit of a poison. Like she licks something. 
outside. I drank puddle water and there was something in it. There was a toxin in it. That's what's affecting her. You know, whether it's something that was sprayed or something that came out of the car. You know, like antifreeze. I think it's giving her aches and the muscles. I'm just hearing that now. Well, it's 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 poison. It's like affecting her whole body. <clears throat> Should be better now. I've cleared it with the uh, platinum red. Right? Yeah, and I did um, a flush through the heart and did the uh, creator energy through the heart muscle so that it pumps through uh, every time the heart beats. It's got that clearing energy going through the bloodstream, the healing energy, rather. I'm sorry. No. Oh. Um, I'll let her know. Thank you, Phil. All right. Does so she we, need a card or not? You no. want to give her a card? Huh? Well, I, I can, but I'll I'll never remember it. I'm write it down. <laughs> yeah. do, do, you, do you want to say woof when uh, I stop? <laughs> you can stop. I'm not going to say woof. <laughs> <laughs> the dog needs some meditation. <laughs> Mine's a bit fuzzy. Calm it down. Yeah, it just needs calming down the right mind a bit for the probably the top things actually. I'm not really surprised. It did feel a lot on me actually. Yeah. yeah. It could it could be just rainwater knowing nowadays. <laughs> well, I don't know. It just felt like there was a lot of poisons in, or toxins in that, whatever that the dog yeah. got into. It sounds like rainwater. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Lily. Okay, the next one we have Victoria for Bobby. Hello, everyone. Hi. 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 It looks like they've tried to put a hook. Now he's got a broken piece in there, but the hook's gone right in his tongue. Broken piece of hook? Yeah, you know how he they were doing the hook and the tongue and the in the in their throat now? Mm-hmm. I don't see the rest of it. I only see a piece of it in the tongue. It's almost like you healed him or interceded and it broke off. Yeah, I was healing him at times. So there's a piece in his tongue left over from it. I don't know how that happened. I'm just dissolving it. Is that why he keeps going back to the bedroom on his own? Because it he usually doesn't do, doesn't do that. He's always stayed with me, and he knows that I'm the only one at home who can help him whenever he's in trouble. So, but these last while, maybe they are pulling him. They're pulling him and dragging him into the bedroom, yeah, you know, forcefully. Maybe. I don't know what the situation is, but he keeps leaving my side periodically, and which you know worries me because I can't do anything without. Then, they, then he will bark, and something will go wrong. And many times in the past, he has you know collapsed. You know, you can see what's going on with him. Either he's physically having medical issue, or they're doing something to him. You know, they're hurting him. Is there, is there something I can find out about why he keeps leaving me like this? Like he's, I would literally do something like make a tea, go to washroom. I can't even go to a washroom without, if he's not here, he goes back to the room and then he would start barking and sometimes viciously. You know, I, you know, he, he's been through so many life and death moments. Okay. So it's hard for me to, um, to, to you know, not want to keep him in my sight, you know, especially when he's targeted like this. Um, is there anything you can get from from source why he does that? I can or, ask Bobby. Bobby talk. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Bobby. I have an idea, but then still. Yeah, the, the problem is it's last week. So trying to com- have a conversation with a dog in his brain can be quite difficult. Yeah. We might not be able to find out. Yeah. The thing is to stop it happening in the future. If anything's happening, we don't know. Yeah, because I want to know only to prevent to be aware for the future. So when he went in the room, with, was he barking? You know, every time he goes back to the room, a lot of the time he's barking. Yeah, because he doesn't see, he just wanted to go lay down. That's what he said. <laughs> and he barked so viciously? Well, did he do it this time? I mean, he said that he just wanted to go lay down. I know I know. lately he's more tired and he is, um, there are moments he don't he don't get too much rest because he's not well. And then when he can, he sleeps a lot, you know. And that's why he's. I was so old. He's an old guy. Yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> so I was really happy last night that he was able to sleep through because you know he's so um, so sick sometimes, you know, suffering. Um, do you see anything else on his body, like pain? 
I I oh, I saw dark energies, um, like little little patches of dark cloud on certain parts of his body, assuming, um, that's where he's having pain or something is happening in that area, maybe an attachment or a theft of something in the past. Well, well I'm getting Victoria. You've got the keys and the power to sort this out yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, D mm -hmm. don't go in fear. Mm -hmm. Take yeah. the fear out of the way, and you can get rid of all this by yourself quite easily. Mm -hmm. uh, I was trying to find a way of putting a protection, and all I was getting told was, "You can do that." It's, your, it's partly your, I, one of I your do. lessons. It's one yeah, of your I, lessons to do. Yeah, I do try to give him the shield every day, but I don't know if it's working because he always seems to respond in certain ways. So I don't know if he's under attack or just he's bothered by something maybe they're just bothering him and not really doing anything just bothering you know these are, all, these are all tests for you mm. Mm. poor bobby you can do this your, your your healing is doing you're doing really well with the healing because i'm not finding anything mm. yeah poor, don't say poor bobby it's just say i'll fight for you bobby you want to do a card? Yeah. Sure. I was trying to find a way of putting some it so he could shield himself, but I was being told it's your, it's for you to sort that out. I had to say stop. Stop. The meditation again. Just. How do you know? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> You're not supposed to say the card before I pick it. That means you psych it. <laughs> It's just going to be that card for everybody or most people today. I've, I've got a full set, by the way. It's not all meditation card. <laughs> all right. Oh, thank you. I'll get the healing done later. I love you guys. Okay. Love you too. Thank you so much. Okay. Now we go to Mark. Okay, Mark's. I have in my share, so hold on. Yeah, Matt's uh, Jordan, nine years old, and he's had this, a recurring mange and also a... Uh, Oh, like mild, and he's recovered pretty much healthy, but the mange came back. But he had some, when we lived in Phoenix, he ran into a uh, mesquite tree, the needle poked him, and he had some sort of infection that worked through his body, then he was okay. But anyways, he's old, and he just, I think his immune system needs a little bit of work. <laughs> okay. Thank, thank you. Where are you living now, Mark? We're in uh, Bakersfield, California. Oh, okay. So you're still kind of, you're still in the dry climate. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And it, he's been pretty healthy, but the last couple of years, slowing down prematurely. You know, yeah. Stiff and a little bit of pain here and there in his joints. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, like pain yeah, in his joints. He's got arthritis. Um, he's, His spine's got some arthritis. Okay. How old is he? About 10, 12, something like that. He's... He's going to be 10 this December, so he's just a little over nine. Okay. <clears throat> and Liz is his mommy. Liz is in the chat here, too. Liz Starwalker. <laughs> does he have slight difficulty walking? Yes, he does. He, mm -hmm. he uh, goes slow and slips and his legs don't quite coordinate like they used to. He even, even has a trouble scratching his ears with his back legs. Mm -hmm. I can feel it. Uh, I think that may be part of the arthritis. I'm trying to send energies like a mixture of borax and calcium into his bone structure. Let's see if that does it. No, I'm good. Ah. Okay. <coughs> he should be a bit better on his walk. Yeah. I, we, we put some um, energy th throughout his whole body. Um, don't be afraid to use, uh, everybody, don't be afraid to use coconut oil with your pets. Give them coconut oil in their food. It's really good for them. It's also good okay. for their ears. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we found out that coconut oil is really good. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. And um, hit any energy that we put in your pet stays with them, just like we do with their, uh, with the um, humans. It stays for seven days, and then it just is absorbed. Okay, it's interesting. I'm relatively new to this stuff, seven, eight years, and I 
kind of feel like I can sense something happening. <laughs> yeah, within 24 hours, you're going to see a difference. And um, give them, um, I started giving my animals distilled water, stopped giving them tap water, stopped giving them bottled water, distilled water. It made a big difference with them as well because you don't know what they're, they're getting anymore. <laughs> I'm telling okay. you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, when you, when you, you stroke, know, when it's you another stroke, expensive, oh, well. but it's it's worth it. If you if you can do any healing on him when you're stroking him, just think of giving him your energy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, just try that now and again. Yeah. And if okay. you can do your own chi energy, then his life force is getting increased a bit. So, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, do you want to give him a card? I nearly did the yeah, tarot card. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Mark, just say stop and I'll give uh, give him a card. His name's Jordan. The, the Jordan. Dog is Jordan. Okay. Okay, stop. <laughs> I won't let you bark. <laughs> <laughs> so the card is miracles. And what that basically means is you may feel you need a miracle and that source show you the path to resolve the situation. So uh, I would say that's also you. You could do the miracle yourself by giving me a link, so you could uh, get you know improve basically. Okay, thank you. All right, you're welcome. All right, Lily. Well, the next one, Debra Walker, asking okay. for healing for Sheba on and Lady. Deb, you there? Yeah. Yes. Uh, we'll have to track down Sheba, but Lady's here. Okay. My lady. Again, plug the phone so we can move the phone. Look at the camera. She is. No, she was looking at me. Oh, I can see. We can see her perfectly. <laughs> That's Sheba. No, this, no, this, this is lady. A lady. Okay. Lady goes what? <laughs> <laughs> lady, you're so pretty. Where are you going? She doesn't like okay. phones. She don't like her picture taken or anything. She uh come on. No, your meat's right here. You bet your meat's right here. They probably don't want to do the whole thing. I can't hear her. She's speaking. What? How's her stomach? Has she had any problems with um her? Going to the bathroom? No, not at all. No diarrhea? No. So she's going normally? She's not... Yes, she's going normally. Okay. All I can see is your finger. Sorry. <laughs> you want healing on your finger? <laughs> I was just holding the phone. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Deb, just scan her back. I'm sure she's got a, a dormant implant in the back. Don't think that today. In my room. There's something going on with her stomach, too. So I'm thinking there's um, something. Uh, yeah, I'm getting that stomach myself. Man. Yeah, I think they're I, I think they're not. They're, they're invisible ones. There's ones that are, we have to really look for them. Mm -hmm. Guys have said they're not activated. Uh, well, they're, they're disconnected. There, there are two of them. So you're right. There's one in the middle of her back, but you can't really see it unless you know to look for it. And there's one in her stomach. And then she's got something on her. She's got a tracking device in her paw. She's got two of them. One in her top, uh, in her top left paw, and one in her bottom right paw. No. What tracking? What? tracking devices what do you mean well she's got implants and she's got tracking devices so they they can continue to track where she is if if the implants are removed a lot oh. a lot of times they're connected because uh they're connected to you or whoever's in the household i just can't go anywhere in them so as well they're just can, uh, not working yeah that's weird it doesn't go anywhere they're not connected. No, they disconnect. I think they they were probably connected to you, and we. I think we disconnected yours. So I think uh, we've disconnected. We've deleted everything that's connected to it. 
Uh. It's quite discomfort, actually. I'll, I'll get Bob to get rid of them. But she's very healthy. <laughs> Weird thing, that could be why she's tapping into the energy. Yeah, very much. She's like, oh boy, when is this going to be a problem? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sleeps a lot, I would ask them. Um, about yeah, that. She, she sleeps way more than she should. She when sleeps. The most, uh, when yeah, the she implants, sleeps. yeah, when the implants are activated, they were draining her. When I see turned them off for the event. Yeah, there's something going on with her neck, too. I got a pain in my neck. <laughs> You can ask what they need to be. The dog needs to be in the camera still. If lady needs to be in the camera. You see a parasite in her neck, Phil? I've got pain in the back of the neck, but. Yeah, but I think I see like a snake looking thing. So we're the tracking. And it's move it's moving, so I, I I'm assuming it's parasite. It's getting it now. All right, go. I put energy in where the implants were. Let's do energy where the parasite. That's why she was sleeping a lot. The parasite takes a lot of energy. Oh, that feel better, lady? Yeah, she's like, oh. <laughs> yeah, good girl. <laughs> she should be all set now. Awesome. Thank you. Sheba. She might Sheba. Drink a bit. Deborah, she might drink a bit more than normal in the next few days. <laughs> She may sleep too so hard, but then she'll last, after a couple of days she'll she'll look back to normal. Okay. Sheba. It must be a cat. <laughs> yep. Sheba. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Sheba. Huh? Have you got a, an image of her? Um, here she's coming. Sheba, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, sorry. Sheba. Can you see her? Yeah. Yeah. She's like, just give me the damn treat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there she goes. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> She's really. We got her. We got her. Don't worry. She seems to be okay. Do you have any yeah, issues? Feels good to me. You have any issues with? I'm having a. Well, once in a while, her butt will turn all red. What are you feeding her? Like the out part of her anus, like it's really raw, really red, and like it gets really stinky. Yeah. So she's got. So, she has diarrhea then. No, it's not coming out like diarrhea. Um, there's something going on there. Mm, what if she has a parasite? Yeah, it was quick, well. You want me to try to see get her again? No. Okay. No, you don't have to. Um, I'm asking. Okay. Food-wise, I have Father, father said to look, oh. at, look at her intestines or her intestines. Okay. Not, not you. I'm talking to Phil. Sorry. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I see it now. I think something may be here that's trying to block you guys from seeing certain things. <laughs> it's hard when because you've got um, such a low bandwidth on your phone, and you know I we only got to see her for a second, so I had to call in Creator to help me. I only saw her eyes just for a second. Okay. Well, they've both been reacting like there's something here too. Well, and they'll, they're the first ones that'll let you know. Yeah. We keep telling the energy to leave. Um, um, not for our highest good or for the good of all. And uh, not for example, but anyways. They've, they've got... Um, See if your band looks better. Did we remove anything from the either one of you? I can't remember. Yeah, from, yeah we, we got rid of yeah. implants. Yeah. But they've got um, one of those little, I don't know whether it's a dwarf or a gnome or something in their house. That's the thing that's playing tricks on me. <laughs> yeah. I just saw it. You want to go to... You saw it? Go yeah. ahead. Hey, you saw it too? Hmm? I thought you were talking to me. I'm sorry. Well, you know, Rainbow said that she feels like that's been what's been tricked her. playing yeah. tricks on her <laughs> like i haven't seen it but i i feel like um a certain type of energy yeah. and uh, something will come up missing and i know it's not missing you know yeah um, and then, well i just i saw it i saw it so it's definitely there <laughs> yeah. we were the i think the last ones you did last last week and you removed uh, something that had been on me that was you could not see yeah yeah but the the dwarf or whatever this is uh wasn't there last week this is new it was from the archon last week yeah uh -oh. Oh, i'm getting a headache well i i'm getting and uh, i'm getting that the, it's a parasite there but also it reacts to the food it's got like a, it's something in the food that, that's creating a reaction to the back to the spiritual parasite as well, and it, it's like an ongoing thing. But we'll get rid of the the. Uh, and Shiva, yeah, we've been trying to find food that works for her, but it seems like when we do, that company no longer exists anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, stay away from Perina Blue uh, Blue Buffalo, which is also Perina. So, their um their food has become toxic for animals a lot of animals are dying and going or going into um seizures because of it dogs and cats well right now i'm feeding her meow mix which is what i used to feed my old cats that's um, it, that, that whole recipe has changed i would not i, I we i just threw oh. i just threw a whole bag of meow mix away it's horrible yeah, I'm having a hard time finding something that she's not reacting to. Go to a holistic vet and find some food to buy the stuff that's in the stores. It's garbage. Okay. You're going to have to. We'll uh, try. Unfortunately. We'll find one here. The or... best thing, the, the safest thing for a cat right now is a can of tuna fish. That's what my vet told the okay, holistic well, vet. The safest thing that you can get I at a grocery store. Food. Is to get I have to yeah that's the safest thing that you can get in a grocery store for a cat because all the canned foods have are, are, if you read the ingredients it doesn't even say it's not even what it says on the label all the you know yeah. cat food she loves yeah usually she loves spinach yeah well it usually usually uh like at least the can is real tuna and that you know we can get you can get the you know get it in water but um don't get it in olive oil because yeah. i don't think it's real olive oil <laughs> i doubt if it's real olive oil yeah. but you know you can get the <laughs> i agree with you you can get the cheapest kind of tuna but just give her tuna yeah that's okay. yeah. but my cats end up being allergic to chicken and i was getting white fish um cans of white fish cat food and the ingredients mm -hmm. You know, I had to, I didn't have my glasses. When I got home and read the ingredients, it was chicken. 
Did you find it there? There wasn't any white fish in it. Go to today's and then press on it. We're going to see if her phone has a better bandwidth okay. for later <laughs> than mine. <laughs> okay. Okay. So um, we've, cleared, we've cleared, I've cleared the parasite. Yeah. Okay. I would so, look at the I'll, diet, though. I would look at the diet. I'll work on her diet. Will we I, 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 yeah, I've tried to. I've tried, I, I've tried to reprogram her brain a bit to accept the food more. Okay. Well, she also has a little bit of dry skin, but I've been putting um, the coconut oil, pure coconut oil. Yeah, and you can actually put it in the food too. Uh, mix it with the food because it's okay. very safe for them to eat as long as it's um, you know, it's real we'll coconut oil. We'll eat it here and there. I don't know. She gets well. She's really sensitive to energy. Very sensitive. And she also has spent a lot of time healing me as well. And I sent her healing too, but this diet thing and the food and all that, it's been, that's been. Yeah, it will be. It will be until, because they've changed everything. You've got to be so careful. I mean, they're not only trying to poison humans, they're trying to poison our our pets too. So. You have to take back. Yes, your, I'm very you aware to, of that. Yeah, you have to. You have to take back control of what what um you're eating and what you're feeding your your pets. Do you bless the food? Yeah. You bless the food you give her. Um, no. <laughs> Try doing that. No, I haven't been lately. I have not been lately. Yeah. So, good reminder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So, a card for. Are you doing cards for the animals? Yeah. Yep. So, rainbow first. Tell them when to stop. Who's going to eat first? Rainbow. The no. Lady? Yeah, lady. Yes. You gotta, you gotta go walk when you want to eat to stop. Stop. <laughs> You're getting extra blessings. All right. That's good. Yeah. Blessings. Yeah. Awesome. awesome. So that's excellent. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, just that they get get the help in there anyway. Yeah. So you want Sheba? Here go Mia. Okay. <laughs> that. That's an interesting one. Difficult with the animal. Stop. Self acceptance. <laughs> yeah. Stop. Yeah. But, stop. 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 Yeah, self acceptance, being too difficult for herself. Shiva, you need to accept yourself the way you are. You need to love yourself more. Shiva, love yourself more. <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Really? The next one we have Lila <laughs> for her cat Joni. Hi, I'll bring her. Say hi. Hi, Juni. Say hi. What was, her, what was her name? I'm sorry. Juni. Joni. Say hi, Juni. You're so pretty. I know. It's not bashful. <laughs> oh, she already feels the energy. Yeah, for the first time I see her, she's just there comfortably. Juni, are you watching it? Juni. Yeah, yeah. You can put her down now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is she eating okay? Uh, yeah, she's okay. Just, uh, I want to just to see the scan to see if there is any problem with her. No, I'm just going to do some um, gum and teeth. Uh, actually, yeah, because... I, I, I was getting parvitis, to be honest. Be careful about it when she's older. Oh. Isn't that weird? That? Are you thinking that? <laughs> yeah, that, I'm just going to do some gum and teeth cleaning. And yeah, definitely. Yeah, actually, Vet also told me about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was giving it first, and I thought, nah. And I was giving it again, and in the end, he just told me off, <laughs> ignoring them. <laughs> I've also got aches in the neck and the like an arthritis thing. How old is she? She's young. pretty young, isn't she? Yeah, 
Uh, she's uh, like a three years old. Yeah, she's very young. Mm-hmm. And I don't know why the vet is telling you to clean her teeth already. Mm-hmm. This is $400. Please be careful. And, okay. And, um, and don't inject her with all those vaccines. Mm-hmm. Please. Yeah, I, yeah, they ask me if, because she loves to go to a uh, patio, and they ask me if she's going to patio, she needs vaccination. No, but she I does not. Do no, she does not. She's tell her she's indoor cat. She doesn't need anything. Don't ever and and if they say patio, say like, I don't even have one. Whatever. Oh, so, uh, you're so. Uh, I don't. Deb, I, Deb you, they can uh, add uh, like a, a cleaning thing in the water to clean the teeth, can't they? I think is that right? Well, to, in order to do a cat's teeth cleaning, it's a minimum of four hundred dollars. They have yeah. to. No, but you can do it in the water. You can actually add it into the water. Yeah. And that's another reason why you, you do distilled water because uh, tap water and even bottled water is just reverse osmosis. It's the same as tap water. Yeah, actually recently I gave her just distilled water because I'm also using distilled water. But yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So it just keeps all the 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 crap, uh, the minerals from on their teeth and in their bodies. You just unhealing. I'm, I'm doing this. Got a tiny pain in the back of the neck. I don't know why. I'm also, I'm baking. also get. Hmm? You can also take baking soda and water and make them oh. a, a, a soft paste and rubber teeth yourself and gums. Oh, okay. Do that, you know, when you think about it, just rub it. She may not like it, but it's not going to hurt her. Baking, real baking soda, not the box in the store, the kind that you have to order on Amazon. <laughs> okay, yeah. Real, true baking soda. The one that's in the grocery store is processed. Okay. You know, this sounds weird. <laughs> I think she's got a little bit of trauma from a previous life mm-hmm. as a dog. She was a dog, a little small dog, brown one. Really? I, I, yeah, See, normally, I'm they pink. don't carry it over. I know, I know. I don't know that, but this one has. <laughs> so, but I can to actually see it so clear. It's like a little. It's like, it's like one of the you know one of the cor- like a corgi. That's it. It's a corgi. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a brown one. She wasn't the queen's, was she? <laughs> I don't know. That's, that would be trauma. <laughs> that would be. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm, I'm UK. So apologies though, before I get a visit. <laughs> Why do I even know that the queen had corgis? Another piece of information in my head that I don't need. Hungry. Hmm? We're done. I know. Yeah, I'm not know. like a child. <laughs> my husband. So we're done. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Anything else, Phil? No, that's, cl- uh, cl- that's been clear. Now. Okay. Actually, I want to know if if she feels happy living. Oh. We didn't understand you. Hold on. Yeah, we need to hear the broadband. Oh, okay. Do you want to have, say it again? I want to, uh, if she's happy living with me and enjoying uh, me. Yeah, she is. Very happy. Yeah, yes, thank you. Yeah, because I love her. <laughs> and she knows that. That's why she's so happy. She loves you too. Cats, cats don't. They only show it when they feel like it, you know, but she does. She loves you. That's beautiful. Thank you. And the, whatever happened in that past life, it's cleared now. I think it was something to do with her neck. Do you want a card? Okay, stop. Stop. Yeah, sometimes you wonder what these mean for animals, actually. Spiritual growth. (laughs) (laughs) Oh. (laughs) What could that mean? Uh, I think that's for you. Yeah, it just doesn't make sense for an animal. Start fearing your situation, follow your art, and let your growth flow without blockages. I think that's for you. Yeah. That's beautiful. Thank you. I want to, mm-hmm. at the end, healing for myself as well. You can have another card. You'll get that one again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're Thank you. Lily. Hey, okay, the next one is Joy for her card. She did not put a name. That's all right. Or- yeah, she has a problem. Joy? Her name is Neela. What's her name? Neela? Mm-hmm. Neela. Oh, Neela. Where is she? Let me actually grab her. 
This is her. Mm -hmm. How pretty you are. She's going to run away in a second. Just, Sorry. Yeah, just, just, a just a minute. <laughs> we need, can you hold her just a few? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get her. Okay. You're okay. You're okay. Okay, okay. Like, no, she's really young. Superstar, we need your face. <laughs> I need your face, little girl. Look, look, look. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, there we go. Right there. <laughs> she wants to go. Hey, Do you have a picture of her? I do. Actually, let me put it in the chat. It, you can share it. You know how to share? I do. <laughs> I put it in the chat, but my computer is loading when I'm trying to open the picture. Oh, there we go. <laughs> she reminds me of a tiger inside a cat. The energy of a tiger. Mm -hmm. She has a lot of energy. She looks like one of our cats that we lost. Mm -hmm. Her name was Sadie. Mm. Cool. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Okay, that was long enough. Mm -hmm. Let's see. It's something in the throat. Something in the bloodstream. Almost like she's got a sore throat and something going on in her blood. But energy right through her third eye. You having any issues with her? Because what I'm seeing, um, <laughs> I'm we're able to take care of today. That pretty. It's, it's leukemia, feline leukemia, but we can remove it. I'm getting the message. The thing that I'm dealing with is that she's having issues um, not peeing in her litter box. Um, and then she has this like twitch in her back. Um, like if I touch a certain spot on her back, she'll twitch there. And I did take her to the vet and they said everything was fine. But of course, you know, it's still persisting. She's not going in her litter box. Um that's unusual for a cat. It's well, well, I'm getting, I'm getting. She's very healthy, but she's her own boss. She'll never be out of control. Her. <laughs> she, she'll do whatever she wants to do. Yeah. It's. Have you changed the yeah. litter? Um. No, I used the same one, but I tried changing it to see if there'd be a difference. But there's no difference. Um. Yeah. Well, she'll use it sometimes, but then other times she won't. It's really weird. So but where does she go? She'll literally just any corner but um she will go number two in her litter box but number one like she'll urinate like randomly random places you know i've tried like every remedy that they've mentioned out there but nothing has really worked that's not good I'm trying to go share with brain yeah because I, th I think she's just very rebellious she's doing it deliberately because <laughs> <laughs> she can't and, and Usually cats are so good about going in a litter box and they... <sighs> I've tried to do that. I did get a message, treat her every time she does, she's good. Every time she uses a litter box, give her a treat and then she might program her brain to do it a bit better. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd, I'd leave the treats. Uh, you can't leave them visible. I'd leave them the bag next to it and then just give her one every time. That wasn't for me. <laughs> That was from whoever I connect with. Gotcha. Yeah. If you put cayenne pepper in the on the in the corners, she won't go in the corners anymore. They don't like cayenne pepper. Okay. I've tried like vinegar in the corner or lemon juice, but that doesn't deter her. Yeah, I was going to say vinegar, vinegar. Vinegar removes the smell. <laughs> that yeah. that's all that does. That doesn't bother them at all. Cayenne pepper bothers them. Okay, I'll try that. Deb, I uh, got my daughter to try, uh, she was interested in wood pellets that were coming out. And so I actually contacted a friend who has horses and picked up a bag of the, the compressed sawdust pellets that you add water to for the horse stalls. And she tried it out with her two kittens and they like it a lot and they have no rejection to it. It um, it smells a lot nicer with the the wood rather than than the, um, the stinky old cat litter with the urine smell. So and it's a lot cheaper. goes so goes a lot further. So you might want to try that. What do you think? There's no chemicals in it whatsoever. Yeah, you know. Okay. I think I'll find you. 
And oh, yeah, yeah litter is very expensive. I, I do the, I, I order the crushed walnuts. I don't use the clay or anything that's in the grocery store. Yeah. Using that years ago because it's bad for your cats. Yeah. And they're coming up with, uh, you know, cat wood pellets for their litter now, but yeah. that's the same stuff that they're using in the horse stalls, yeah. but it's, they're pricing it in, in small packages for a lot, lot more. So if you just go to a feed center and pick up a bag of, um, of these uh, compressed uh, wood, wood, wood pellets for horse stalls, it, um, my daughter believes that it'll actually, four bags will take care of her two kittens for a whole year. Mm. That's how, that's how well it works. Wow. Yeah. Thank you for that. But, um, she's got uh, healing energy from both of us. So um, I did see the leukemia, whether it's in the future, it's not going to happen now. So you won't see that. So um, hopefully the reprogramming of her brain will help too. Thank you. <laughs> well, all right. You want a card? Um, you want a card for? Yeah, of course. I'd love a card. Say stop. Stop. Nature. That says it all, doesn't it? She likes to go in nature a lot. So does she go out or is she an house cat? She's more of an indoor cat, but every once in a while I'll take her, you know, on trips with me. Mm, yeah. We travel, to, you know, to different states and whatnot. Just needs to connect with nature a bit more. Okay. Thank you. Lily? Oh, the next one is Jackie or Chopper. You're on mute, honey. I am. I did shut my mouth. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need to... Oh, let me see if we can... I've got him. You've got him. You've seen him so many times. Phil, do you need to see him? I know exactly what it's <laughs> <laughs> you know a monthly Chopper. thing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. yeah, you're fine. Okay. Well, I'm down here. I'm... Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. Now they've seen him a lot of times. Hey, Jack. <laughs> Rick said, hey, Jack. Hello, Rick. How are you doing? Have, doing good. He said doing good. Yeah, good. Okay. It's all right. I asked Chopper why he peed the bed. He said he couldn't. He couldn't hold it. He couldn't get up. He couldn't hold it. He couldn't let anybody know. He couldn't get up. So his legs are, he's having a lot of trouble with his hips. Yeah. So that's why that's happening. Okay. Yeah. And he said, he actually said, you know, I, I was sound asleep, but I didn't really realize it. And then by the time he realized that he couldn't get up fast enough, and he said he feels really bad. Oh, it's, I tell him, okay, it's okay. I've ordered some things for his bed that will help. Yeah, he's pretty help keep him, you know, he's help keep him clean. I don't want him to be embarrassed. Poor baby. If you just yeah. tell him maybe to whine or something so that he'll wake us up. That's the whole thing. He was in a dead sleep and... He's having a dream, isn't he? Yeah. I, he's, <laughs> he's got a sad look. Yeah, he's like, I. by the time he realized it, he was, it was, yeah, and there's no way he could even get up. He couldn't get up and okay. it was already done. Okay. And he felt really, I felt like he was going to be in trouble. <laughs> he's not in trouble. He's never in trouble. Um, I think maybe taking him out the very last thing before we go to bed, probably rather than an I, hour I think he, I think that was his dream. <laughs> oh no, a wet dream! Oh my gosh! No, he was dreaming. He was going <laughs> out. A creepy no, dream. No. It's not a wet dream. <laughs> he, was, he, he was dreaming. He was going out. <laughs> <laughs> Mine can play tricks. I wouldn't worry about it at all. Okay. Anything? No implants. Nothing like that. Anything going? But his legs are giving way. He's, he's got. Got like half right, he's got soreness. Yes, he does. He's, 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 his, his hips are going, and um, his his, uh, his spine. I can see he needs to uh, give him a younger younger hips and spine. That'd be great. Legs. Yeah, he would love that. Yeah, he would love that. Um, how old is he now? Sorry. Twelve and a half. Twelve and three fourths. He's lived with this many many years. Yeah, I've sent a beast of energy and so see if that helps. So thank you. So did Father. Oh, good. Thank you. Thank, thank Father. Boost, thank Phil. Boost his spine and his hips. Yeah. Yeah, I've sent Christ consciousness pattern and right. Thank you. Work I'll send him some central stuff. That will keep him there. I'll keep the clothes out right. That's all good. That would help. Thank you. I'm back in his ears. Oh. Bless you. 
Just trying to remove all the junk. Jack, could you all say stop? And I'll give oh, you I didn't know you were doing that. Okay, yes, yeah, stop. It wasn't yeah, I, don't know. <laughs> I was just, I was writing down what you guys said. I'm sorry, I was still in the ears. <laughs> okay, you're still in the ears. Okay. There's a lot of stuff in there. No doubt. You got divine guidance, by the way. Thank you. Your prayers are being answered by universal law. So. I will write that down. Thank you. All right. Well, yes. The same person that was in there before was in there again, Jesus, and trying to take out as much of the um, drainage that that's in the ear. Mm-hmm. Actually, had some drainage today. Mm-hmm. So. It's almost like you took a vacuum and and sucked all as much drainage as you could in out of there and um and put some more energy healing energy in because he's you know it's just he's got the drain the allergies just draining to the ears and just trying to keep it happy and doing I mean, yeah, I don't know who's got not muted but whoever that is I've done it okay thanks. Uh, Jackie gave me a message okay Chicken. Chicken, <laughs> then more chicken. <laughs> oh gosh, I cooked four pounds of chicken yesterday. Chicken, he he can smell it. <laughs> he can smell it in the wrapper. I I declare. <laughs> yeah, he loves his chicken. He loves he loves his food. He does. Mm-hmm. Um, since he See, can't walk very well, that's what he that's what he does. He he loves to eat. Okay, thank Jesus very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, well, he's, I swear he's, he hangs out with Chopper all the time. Cause anytime I'm trying to do healing or doing, we're, we're doing healing. He's there. He's there. Oh, that's beautiful. I love that. I'm writing that down too. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. You guys three with Chopper? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you all, Rick, Deb, Phil. Whoop. Thank you all so much. I appreciate it. Okay. Now we're going next for Kari Rose. Kari Rose. Hello. Bilbo on Nali. Hello. Yes. So here's Bilbo. He moved to me when he was one years old. He moved around a, li- a lot his first year. So he's very insecure. And he can bite children and uh, people that he don't know. Not so often because I watch him. And he can also attack uh, other dogs if I don't uh, yeah, be there. And uh, three years ago, he was attacked by a shepherd dog, almost died. It's a miracle that he survived that. He was totally a mess inside. Four weeks ago, he was attacked again by another dog. Uh, luckily, it was only bites, but uh, it was they could see the main blood order in his uh, throat. So once again, he has the luck from the... Uh, protection from the angels or something like that. So there's a lot of trauma around this dog. And um, do you want to hear about Nale right now or what? Because Nale, he moved to me October last year. It was my brother's dog. My brother took his life. um, And uh, he stayed with my parents for two weeks. That wasn't good because there come so much people over there and everyone was crying. And uh, of course, he, he changed a little bit. But this is a dog that really loves life. But not, Bilbo can be a little bit mean sometimes and attack him. And also my neighbor's little York can be a little bit mean. But he don't seems to care too much. But you can see in his eyes sometimes he look at me. So that's my two dogs. Can I have a look can at the first one? Can you pick up the first one? Yeah. Bilbo. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. I send a picture. Well, so in- yeah. What's he called again? Sorry. Bilbo. Bilbo Baggins. I, I've got a friend who's got the same dog. I called it Babu. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's, uh, it's quite weird. So we'll try and remove the trauma. This dog has got implants. He's being controlled. He's got one in his brain. He's got one in his spine. Poor baby. Where were they, Deb? Spine and where? His brain. The back of his head, right in the back here. It's one of those weird ones. Do you see it? It's like a black, the black one, like a, looks like a saucer. I've already, uh, Check it out now. 
I'll, I'll let Bob, uh, I've already sorted the other end of it. <laughs> yeah, he's got uh, tracking devices in his uh, paws. Yeah, left, left top, front, left front, and, and bottom right. And he's got something in his stomach, too. How odd. It almost looks like an umbilical cord, but they've got something in his stomach. Gary, do you dream at night? Me? Yes. Not that I, I don't remember what I'm dreaming. Sorry. Do you, um, uh, do you see things? To, are you clairvoyant? Uh, um, unfortunately, I don't. I nearly never see things. I can do it, but very, very seldom. So, no. Do you block it? Yeah, I have a very big block from childhood, I think. Um, I believe I saw things when I was a child, but I was... So yeah. totally. Well, I'm yeah. getting messages that you are clairvoyant and that um, mm. they are, you're very powerful and something scared you, I think, and you blocked it. Yeah, my mother, yeah. she she has been afraid all her life and I was terrified when I was a child. I could sit awake all night long and just stare out in the black and I didn't dare to scream out for my parents because I was so scared. Yeah, it's, nothing it's, to be afraid of. Yeah, the, the tra- you've got the trauma. Weird how your dogs have got trauma as well. It's as though you're attracted to the same vibration of that trauma. If you get what I mean? That, but the, your dog's been cleared now. Oh. And even the trauma, even the trauma's been cleared. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Uh, surrender and release. You know. They might get a card, surrender and release. Or have, oh, have you done Deb? Have you cleared? Yes, yeah. But let's see the other dog. Yeah, I'll, I'll give a card for the first dog yeah. first. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I went into the implant and I sorted some being out. So. Just say stop. Stop. Yeah, sign. Might be for you, this. Signs. So. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You need to see the signs. Oh. Yeah, I know. I want to do it. <laughs> I, ask, I do, I, I do ask, this. Ask for these signs to appear for you. Yeah. I do this master class with uh, David right now this year, but yeah, so I really need it. <laughs> mm. So here is Nalle. Nalle it means teddy bear. Uh, and my brother's name was Björn. That's a bear in Sweden. Nalle. This dog's pretty old. Sweet. Well, I am going to say this. I hope it doesn't upset you, but your brother does visit him still. I think he's a um, wanderer. He's a lost soul. Yeah. Well, the brother yeah. drowned himself. Uh, I was picking that up. Carrie, do, do you have any, have you had any movements in the house in the last few weeks? Then? Or has the dog been a bit strange? <laughs> Excuse me, did you, what did you say? Is, has, has your dog picked anything up in your house or have you picked a different energy? But then again, you block, you might not know energies. Uh this dog, I don't know. I mean, four weeks ago, Bilbo was attacked by a dog mm. and Nalle was chased away by her other dogs. And they were really big dogs, uh, higher than uh, Rottweiler and only muscles, you know. Um, I don't know what to... Deb, I know this is past. Should we do the clearing now? What do you think? Trying to figure out if her brother is attached to one of them, whether whether he's attached to her or the dog. I'm trying to figure it out. Mm, both of them, I think. Is he jumping from one to the other? Yeah. Your brother um, never went to the lights, so he's wandering, and I think he's going from the dog to you. Okay. Mm. My brother was... So sometimes one... when you... Oh, sorry. My brother well, was it... here yeah. in... Uh... Psychology, psych, hospital because a brain surgery that went wrong. So, and he always was strangled there. So, I think he's got, he was so dragged down. So, he couldn't even walk sometimes. So, I think he's got very attacked over that time. And he never healed after that. So, he hanged himself October last year. I think he had a lot of anger. Lot of pain, a lot of pain in his body. And, and anger. Yeah, an anger. Yeah, anger is right. 
And he he find a girl and they bought a house and they were supposed to marry, but he had so much, he was sick almost all last year with pain that made him, he couldn't do anything. So she said, I can't marry you. And then he took his life. So he had seven, eight years of hell and a lot of medicines, a lot. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll t- get into the light. So you might feel the energy, even though you're blocked, you might actually feel this. Is that okay? This so, may unblock okay. you, actually. This may unblock her. Okay. Okay. If you can just send him love from your heart chakra. He's doing it. He's making, he's got that pilot light in his heart. He's gl- It's growing. Do you feel it? His energy is getting bright. Good job. No, sir. Archangel Michael, Jesus, mm-hmm. I mean, they're okay. all helping. Philip, you and I. No, no, no. You feel a difference? Yeah. He's ready he, to go. Yeah. Softness. He's apologizing for the energy that he had there. He's sending you love. He's saying he loves you. Did he ever play a musical instrument? What? Did he play he... a musical instrument? No. No. Well, did he ever want to? I don't know. My uh, uncle is quite famous. Uh, plays uh, guitar, piano. Piano. Yeah. It was a guitar. I saw. Okay, my um, grandfather on my uh, father's side, he played um, violin or what do you call it? Yeah. yeah. He was and he had courses. A uh, lot of people, but bro- my brother absolutely nothing, and they tried to get me to play piano, but. No, sorry. <laughs> I, I saw him going up, and I saw someone playing a gu- uh, guitar. I've never seen my brother play anything. <laughs> he might, yeah, he might have been able to say, "I can play it now." <laughs> but yeah, my grandfather and my um, uncle was very good. Yeah, you may feel a lot of change in energy, even with the dogs. Um, yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. So I saw it. Is it Uriel? Ariel or Yoriel. I saw her. Okay. Help. She she helps with emotions. So yeah. he'll go to the other side now and he'll be being repaired a bit. Some of his trauma will be removed. We removed a lot of it for him to ca- carry on the journey, if you know. Mm-hmm. So he was just scared to go, but he had anger and he had uh, fear, fear to go. Because yeah. everyone thinks that when you commit suicide, that you'll. You know, you won't go to heaven, but uh, you you make your own hell, and we've cleared it. So he's okay now. <sighs> so good. Uh, do you want a card for it? Yeah, thank you. Here are cards. See what what what's the cards say. Just say stop. Stop. I I don't get it. Sometimes it says romance. So. <laughs> I don't. Know if that's for me. <laughs> Not for you. I I've been single for. 20 years and mm. when I was in Spain with David uh, a girl there she said oh I see a romance for you next year and then uh, I had a one-to-one with David and he said oh I see a man coming <laughs> and he talks about that man every time we had one-to-one so that's one post for me <laughs> you, you got it again <laughs> I don't know if I have a place for a man, but Roman, I... your, your your prayers are be for love are being answered. So yeah, <laughs> I think you've had it sealed and dealed now. Stamped. <laughs> Rubber stamped. <laughs> Thank you very very much. You're yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. I place my cat. The next one is for my pet, Butch. I sent you an email with the same picture with this. This is Butch. Butch. Yeah. So and, beautiful. And he's walking with a shaking front foot, foot, foot. I don't know how you call it in English. I forgot. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Foot left, with it. left one. Yeah, left one. Yeah. It would shake. He's um. He will be fourteen in May. That's still young. Yeah. I told him to live to 20. When did it start? Oh, like like, uh, three years ago. So it's been going on like that for three years? Yeah. I think it's something in his spine.
the outdoor cat? Again? Does he go outside? No. But when he does, I always watch him. Did he ever jump from a, a, a high fence or? He, yeah. <laughs> he would jump down on the stone. We have a fence and it's a stone and it's, it's so high as. It's a spine. There's something in his spine. It's like a nerve. It's not a pinched nerve. It's something worse. It's almost like it's disconnected or something. Oh. I was trying to figure out how he did it. I, was, I saw him jumping from a... Um, jumping like last month, I saw him jump on the window and he fall down. Yeah, I was seeing that. How, how far mm -hmm. was it? He fall down. Yeah, what, what, how, how many feet? Or... Um, like yeah. only three three feet I think from the window down mm -hmm. but our kitchen is uh, hard and he fall down on his here um, paw did not fall on the both feet but on the back okay he has a definite in spinal injury which um and then there's a nerve that's doing this so mm. we to go mm. That's all I see. Okay, that I put energy there. Bill? Yeah, I, I think I've made that nerve a bit. Yeah, I saw that one when he fall down, and he is a big one. He's uh, almost eight kilos. So I was really, I shouted. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Uh, let's see how he does with this energy um, mm -hmm. next week. Let's see how he does. Uh, hopefully, mm -hmm. he'll start improving, and you'll see a difference. And hopefully, the next few days, you'll, you'll see him back yeah. to normal. Yeah, I will observe him. I have another one. She will also be 14 in May. I like her check also. She's sleeping. Donna, I'm sorry, Donna. I have to wake you up. I'm so sorry. There's my Donna. Come on. Yeah, yeah, I know. Sorry. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. You look up there. Don't, don't. Da, da, da. Da. Yeah? Like, hello. <laughs> I got her. You see. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, it's really cool. Sorry, baby. I don't bring them to the uh, doctor or how do you call them? Vet? Vet. No, I don't. I understand. You know, I was getting off a bit of an headache, but I think that's because she just got woken up. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's like, what was that about? I don't understand why you woke me up. <laughs> Yeah, she's sleeping on my bed. <laughs> she looks pretty good. Very healthy. Thank you. I don't see any issues. Yeah. Do you have any problems with her? Again? Do you have any issues with her? I don't see any no. problems. No. She's, she I looks only want her checked because she will be 14. She looks fine. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you very much. I'm glad. You're a card, Lily. Okay, card. Okay. okay. Stop. Is that okay? Is that stop? Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> stop. Okay. And that's manifestation. Yes, I love that. Your black card. <laughs> yeah, it's a manifestation. Okay, I love that. You, your plans might change, but you'll still receive peace and happiness on the on the journey. So, uh -huh. And that could be for, for your animals as well. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you very much. The okay. next one, we, do, we don't have any animals anymore, and we go to humans. Okay, good. let me run to, to the potty. To the, the post. Okay. Bio break. <laughs> Is this a break? Is this a tea break? <laughs> <laughs> You'll be the next one, Victoria. Yeah. The next to Victoria is Linda. So our next? Yeah. You, you're the next one. Yeah. <laughs> the next to you is Linda. Linda. Are you guys getting a lot of snow up in Europe? No. No? No, no, sir. No. We, ra I, we rarely get snow. Yeah, this afternoon we have, but very thin. It's not much. 
but it's cold, windy. When it's windy, then it's very cold. I don't like it. Okay. Victoria. Hello, guys. Hi. Okay, Victoria. Let's see. Do you have a headache? No. The only thing I've got for you is your eyes and your sinus. Do you have a sinus? I have allergies, remember? So sometimes it does it does act up. And right now it's not too bad, but it had been problematic here and there. Other than that, um, baby, it's roughy again. Baby, okay? Can you guys maybe check the room? He's being bothered again. Bobby, are you okay? Bobby? Do you see any dark energies in your room? I see a shadow. Sorry? I see a shadow being in your room. Do you see him? No, but I saw this little dark area on his um, fur earlier. It's just sometimes I see these dark patches and if they just disappear, it's just for a very short time. Pull up, pull up. So he's being messed with right now. Yeah. This is this happened last week too. He was, after the healing was done, he got immediately attacked again. And so he was basically choking like this for a few days. Try to heal him and comfort him. And well, at least they're doing it while we're still here. Uh, another one just arrived. That's two. I've arrived as well. Where are those guys coming from? A portal? There are, there are, There's a ship above you. Yeah. And we just sent some into it. They're kind of odd shaped. They look like I've never seen anything like this before. They're just. What are they doing to Bobby? Just just Bobby picked him up and decided to bark at him or because he's been pinned down? And he's protecting you. He's I just caught, he's just barking because he's concealed. That's all. Oh, so he's they're not hurting him then. Not not while he's barking. He might be. Let me sort him out anyway. Okay. Because I want to share something with you what I saw. I saw two well, I'll tell you after this. They're clear now. Thank you. Uh, you haven't seen them before, Deb, I have. <laughs> I've seen the um no. I've seen that the shadow, but I've never seen them, you know, show up in their real form like that. They like smoke being that cool. Yeah, they're kind of funky. <laughs> Light gets rid of them. What, what did they came for anyways? I didn't ask. They don't really tell me that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, they, they, so they just drop off. A ship just come along and just drop them off here? Yeah, I'm surprised it came from the ship. Oh. They're they're trying to st they're trying to stop higher dimensional or, or workers there people that are here to do a lot of good work. So mm -hmm. why do you think yeah. they're they're trying they're trying but, to stop you, <laughs> but Victoria? Next time before we have a battle with them, I'll, I'll say, excuse me, sir, why are you here? <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, I have seen them. Mm. In I have been kidnapped once by one of these shadow beings um, on the ship in the past. And it might be the same one coming back. Like, you know, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. We, what we, we saw it to ship out as well. Good, good, good. But one thing, um, one thing, um, a few days ago, um, I saw, you, you know what a mantis being looked like, right? Mm -hmm. They're very skinny body, arms and everything, like very skinny. Well, this one... Yeah entered um he entered my room like through a portal i saw clearly he had a silver metallic look the same color as you see in terminator part two with the, that that the design with that silver and it was glossy but he had a, a very thin body with arms and stuff like that and he came in um not really sure what that is i've never seen a silver like one metal looking one like that in, in that form and there was also a um, a very very like an albino. Uh, she's I believe she's galactic, and she has very she's she's skinny, fairly tall, long hair, silver white hair. So she she so, doesn't sound that. Uh, she weird thing is that she was kind of throwing up, which is weird. Um, I don't understand that, but she, she was. She might have been trying to help you and uh, you've sent some uh, dense energy into it. That would probably make her throw up. Um, yeah, yeah, she. She's I, a very light eye vibration, and she's getting dense energy. So it would make her. 
So she was, I would figure it because I knew her. Like, mm. I just don't know why or remember the history behind us. But, you know, when you recognize someone like a, a soulmate, you just recognize, you know? Yeah. But yeah, but she came forward and I don't even, she, um, but do you guys know of that metallic being? I was thinking, feeling AI, but I don't know. I'm guessing that. But my first intuition said AI. Hey, hey. Do you want to say stop and I'll give you a card as well while we talk? And think of the card might tell you. Right, go on. Stop, please. And divine guidance. Yeah, which is a good, you know, it's a brilliant card. So you, your prayers are being answered by universal law. And I actually did, a bit naughty, I did a tarot card. And that is basically... Prudence of this, that's basically like, like growth, you know, where you're growing, uh, yeah. your spiritual growth. That's what it means. I have been in asking for intention because I basically want to learn everything I want. I came here to learn, I, I want the guidance. Mm. Um, because I'm sure that when we come in here, as each phase goes, there's something new for us to learn, and mm. I understand what's going on these last this last year with my twin and everything is about me growing and learning things and empowering and getting into that um to that the empress energy if you know what i mean yeah and there's a lot of things that i have to i have the purity of heart i have that energy and i have too much unconditional love i'm carrying unconditional love energy but i just don't know how to protect myself and you know, put up borders and stuff, and this is what I'm learning. And then as for the guidance, the healing and everything is coming in. I see it in dreams. Sometimes I see it like visually, um, codes come in. A lot of things I see, but I don't understand. Yeah. But why not do some meditation? Have you got any Buddhist monk places that you can go to there to meditate? Yeah, not, and here, not... here, we, we've got about four. <laughs> Yeah. There's, I live in the city, so I don't really have like a, there could be a park, but the parks are not always safe here. I mean, here in the UK, we, I can go two miles away and I could go say, say one night to a Buddhist temple just to meditate. I think that's what you need. You need to meditate. I got attacked in one of the temples really badly. They actually right. stabbed, they, this is a Buddhist temple in a sense that it was Taoist. They actually stabbed me with a, um, an etheric weapon and it went like this all into my heart and from that point on because of my light was so bright back then back then uh, I was attacked and then after that things went downhill because I was helping to heal people if um, you if your light was that bright why didn't you attack back <laughs> light's because, better than dark yeah. well, well the thing is I didn't understand for me I carry I why didn't you go why didn't you go again now you expect well. Well, no, yeah, no, no. It's it's just after that incident, everything went downhill because mm. my at that time about three thousand three thousand people, light workers who were doing our job, were under heavy attack at that time. So they were targeted. Yeah. And, and there was some kind of event going on in that Taoist temple. It was some kind of Dharma Dharma session, and I signed up for it. And this is before I went online. This is me trying to find myself. So I went I went to churches. I went to Buddhist temple. I went to Taoist temple. And the next thing I want to go is Tibetan temple. The only thing when I walked into this party, I was thinking, ascend, ascend a master, ascend a master, ascend a master. The only thing that came on my head, I got to ascend. Enlightenment. Those are the only words. And I don't know why, but, you know, that's why I got. So, um, so I was pursuing and looking for that on my spiritual path, that I know that I'm here to anchor light. But... Um, I was attacked there, and then and then that led to the series of events that killed myself and my mom. As you know, it was a really dark moment for those months. But I pulled out of it. I pulled out of it, and um, it's not because of the fear of going back to a temple. And it is just that I don't resonate with it. That's the thing. I I, I go to a church, and I have all these people. No matter where I go to, Buddhist temple, Taoist temple, churches. They all brand me. Um, I'm either possessed or you know what I mean, right? You know. Why don't you clear it? Clear the temples. 
of the dark. Well, that's like, you, you, you want to learn everything, you want to do everything. That might be clearing the dark from temples. Sounds good to me. I could do that next time I go. I just haven't gone in a while, um, in a few years, just because I was pursuing other things. It's it's just the experiences I had that I just don't resonate. And I couldn't, you know, going in there, that, it's not always positive when you come back with people um, saying things about you. And you know what I mean? It's just negative vibe. So I don't go. And I remember Jesus telling me one time, he said this, he said, you don't need to go there. You don't need to go there to 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 let's say not you know to pay your respect to me or whatever it is because he doesn't need that. I, I was saying go there to clear it. Yeah, so I will That's take your different. That's different. Yeah. I will take your advice on that one because I okay. if I go back to the Taoist temple, I think it would actually help a lot of people if I do yeah. clear yeah. the energy. So nothing on my body except for the sniffles or the sinus thing? Yeah, you've been quite good the last few months, actually. Mm -hmm. Have you picked out the I didn't pick anything. No. No. I'm sorry. I was zoning out. <laughs> <laughs> Have you picked anything off Victoria? I haven't. No. Uh, All right. Thank you, Victoria. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah. Hey, the next one, Linda. Hello. Hi. Hi. Linda, what's happening with you? Hell if I know. <laughs> yeah, I've been feeling a lot of dense energy and overwhelmed. And yeah, it's a lot going on. Why have you been feeling dense energy and overwhelmed? Um, Just trying to be a good digital soldier and too much messaging and stuff on Facebook and groups. And yeah. Shut it off. Yeah. We'll do some breathing. Go outside. Yeah, I've been doing quite a bit of that too. Yeah. Yeah, the the internet's good to ground yourself, but if you do it too much, then it's working the opposite. So you just got to be a bit of both. I got a love hate relationship going on with it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we all do. Yeah, That's, sometimes it gets to be too much, and you just have to walk away from it. Yeah, for yourself. Yeah, I do, but it doesn't seem long enough. Yeah. Yeah, and get outside, even if it's raining. Well, it's better. It's been like minus 26, minus 30 here in Calgary, and it's... Oh, my God, you're in Calgary. Minus, it's minus 8. Oh, my God, how do, you eight there? Today. how do you live there? I have friends there, and I was like, how do you guys live there? I mean, it's... You have, what, three weeks of sun, summer? <laughs> is that People every 10 years? still have a couple months of winter, <laughs> and I'm going, no, March is starts to be nice, but... No, it doesn't. That's you're, for me. You're nice to me. Your nice is our is our winter. Yeah, it's only minus five. <laughs> oh, uh, it's absolutely stunning there. It's beautiful, but I, I could never ever live there ever. I may have been Nanuka the North in one lifetime. I don't remember it. Thank God. <laughs> Just sending you some energy, Linda. I, I'm easy. I think I can feel a bit of back pain actually. So I'm just easing that. Linda, you also want to know about your glasses. Oh, yes. I was going to message you, Daphne, and say, what, were you, what did you tell me to ask? About your, about what? My reading or my driving glasses that have gone missing. I haven't seen them in mm. quite some time. Well, you don't need them then, do you? <laughs> I don't think so. Ten years ago, I was told I needed glasses and to see the signs when I'm driving. And I thought, I had them and I thought, this is making me eyes. And I just threw them away. Yeah. And I've been okay since. I'll send a bit of central to get you her fairies, her fairies took her glasses? I think it might have been somebody that stole my car and wrote it off. Somebody stole your car and wrote it off. So that your was, glasses? That was a couple of years ago, but I think I've had them since then. But mm. yeah. No, your fairies took your glasses. Yeah, you don't need you don't need them. You don't need them. <laughs> if you if you I my opinion, if you wear them too much, it makes your eyes lazy. That's my opinion. Can you feel that energy? Mm, yes. I'll send you some central sun to keep you warm. <laughs> Save your electric bill. Your gas bill. You must have big bills there. Sometimes <laughs> it's better to put on a YouTube video with your favorite place that you would love to go to or that you've been to and meditate to that. Yeah. I play a lot of videos at frequencies and, yeah, beautiful videos and stuff. Mm. I dream about Florida. 
That's where we're moving to. It's not okay. by the beach, though. No. We're going to be in the woods. Step on the way. <laughs> we won't be far, but I mean, yeah. uh, we're moving into the woods. <laughs> Lovely. Can you pick up and tell me about any like portals in my home or my master portal? Or I don't understand all that really. You have your own portal. Yeah, I didn't. I wasn't sure about that. Be careful if you use it because of what I found out recently is your portal. If your vibration is low and you go in your portal, you can go down. If yeah. your vibration is high, you go up. So it's like a, a conveyor belt. You've got to really be careful what energy you are when you use yeah. it. And opening uh, them and closing them. And... Yeah. I, I, I was, I've been helping someone who's been very low and she's been going into like an L and I, her portal's left right of her bed and she normally goes to the heavens and stuff. And I say it's because of your vibration when you're using it. you got to pick up your vibration. So I've only found that out. Uh, I did a clearing of someone's house last Sunday. I found that out there. So there you go. So. Well, do we all have portal like portals in our homes too? Like I, I don't think all of us go. No, you you actually had you set this up. Um, everybody doesn't have one. Um, they could do, but you can. Yeah, everybody can set one up, but you have one. Is that a good thing? Hmm? Is that a positive thing? Like yeah, yeah. Some people set create the portal when they do the meditation or, or go somewhere. And they create it instantly there. Others have got it so they can just go in and like a conveyor belt and go up to wherever they want to go. Where's your favorite place to meditate in your house? Um, I I'm not great at meditating. Um, you know, just sitting my couch. My couch is my bed and my office and my <laughs> where you're sitting right now? Yeah. I've got all my crystals around me and maybe too many. That's that's your portal. You're sitting in it. That's where you created it. Yeah, yeah. And I was looking at your XOXO, and I'm sitting on, I'm sitting there looking at. It, I'm going, that's her portal. <laughs> She's sitting in her portal. But I had to check and double check because I was questioning my own information. Going, she's sitting in her portal right now. Wow. Yeah, you are. <laughs> so that's where you're getting all your energy. So you know, you you can get energy from there, and you can give it energy. So make sure. That you're at least at a normal, like you're not low. You're, you're yeah. low. You should be normal and above, like just like Phil said. Yeah, thank you. And only you have the key to that portal. So if somebody else is sitting there, that's not going to do anything for them. They're not going to well, feel. Hold on, unless you give the key to someone. Yeah. Well, the code is in your head. It's it's yeah. it's only you coding it, and it's protected. And then do we have a master portal on earth somewhere? Like there's portals all over. The yeah. sun's portal. There's portals everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But this is your personal one. I would say this is your master portal because it's yours. <laughs> yes. And anywhere you go, if you move, it goes with you. Mm. It stays with you. Mm. And Mother just said that um, a couple times a day you visit your home planet because you're lonely. So you, you'll, and you don't even realize it. Yeah, you go psh, up there and psh, back. And where is that? I I hear it. it. it Andromeda. Andromeda. You're, you're an Andromeda. A drop. Like I believe I'm a, an Arcturian root race currently residing as a ninth dimensional Palladium is what I'm. My star seed readings tell me that we have had being we have had different. You know, you've probably been play, you've been all them, uh, but it's your own planet, so it's the place where you go on holiday. You know, I have a favorite place to go in holiday. It's a bit like that. Yeah. You go where your family is. You're in, that's where your family is. You're in Andromeda. And when you shoot off, that might be seconds here. And that could be a week there. I'd rather have it the opposite. Second year. No, uh, yeah. uh, I don't know. I'd rather just stay there, actually. <laughs> I'm not coming back. <laughs> If you can if you can tune into it, Andromeda, it's very prickly energy. Nine nine dimensions. So did you say connected. it's very prickly energy? Prickly, prickly, because it's high vibrational. High vibrational. Yeah. Hmm. Ninety. Tell me about my feet that feel so prickly. <laughs> Could be. Could be. I'll send you two minutes of Andromeda energy. 
See if you feel it. I'll send it to everyone if I can. Right. Did you feel that? Yes. Yeah. All I see when I do that with a remote viewer, it's like a, a princess on a, like a mountain top on Andromeda. And she's got like a staff and she's sending the energy down and she glows white. And I know some of the geometers are blue, but this one, it's like a white energy coming up. It's quite one, it's quite nice. So sometimes I go there. And she she actually said not many to me have come to that. <laughs> I just wanted to see this energy when I was learning, you know, about it. It feels ago. good. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. <sighs> right. Is that it? Did I give you? I think I gave you. That's it. Yeah. You gonna give me a couple cards? Yep. I wasn't sure if I'd done it. I completely got off track. <laughs> <laughs> Just let us know. Stop. Stop. Yeah. You gotta be a child again in nature. Yeah. Playfulness and nature. Forgot me. <laughs> So you've got responsibilities to have fun on your journey, have the fun, and go to nature every day. Yeah. Now, with it being so cold there, that might be a problem. <laughs> it's been a bit. <laughs> Last year, I did do some grounding in the snow, but I haven't done that this year. Bare yeah. feet in the snow. Yeah, I wouldn't jump in a river at minus 20. <laughs> I can walk on water again. A river to throw <laughs> for <laughs> Okay. Thank, Thank you very okay. much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you, Linda. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, okay. The next one we have Debra. Debra Walker. She asked for body scan. We're gonna try it on um on Rainbow's profile to see if it's if the bandwidth is better. Well, which phone is it? Where, where? It's Sam. The Samsung? Okay. Yeah. Did I uh, train that? <laughs> You're on mute. Okay. How do you turn the sound up on your scare? We can You're hear fine. you. Okay. No, no sound. We can hear you. We can hear you. Okay, now I can hear you. Good. I'm feeling much better last week. Okay. Much. Okay. We did a lot of work. Yes. My left side even looks smaller. <laughs> now my right side looks bigger. <laughs> Are you asking us to even it out? Is that it? <laughs> I don't know. I just figured that you should scan because it seems like things are being hidden. <laughs> I see the strangest thing on her, your right side, that I didn't see last weekend. Well, you guys were at the end there. You all of you were tired. <laughs> yeah, it's almost a long day. Um, no, I wouldn't have missed this. All I could do to describe this is a giant tampon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's pretty funny. And the string starts at the shoulder and okay. goes down. And then the, the tampon part is down here. What the heck is that? Do you feel anything there? Um, I was before. I haven't since you worked. Well, that was that. I would, I would I not mean, have missed that. I would not have missed that last week. It's nothing to do with the healing we did, and it's come out. It's what? Is it something that's come out to do with the healing we did? It's shaped like a we, tampon. Yeah, but it might have might be coming out of it now. The energy might be coming out. Might be dead. Um, okay. Okay. Isn't that interesting that it's shaped like that? Definitely. It looks. I mean, I was looking at it going. What the yeah, because you're still, you know, the energy is still with you. It, it, it Actually, the energy ended today, so it would be absorbing into. Whatever, yeah. So, Dan, absorbing the energy. <laughs> that would have ended yet seven days with, what, yesterday? Mm -hmm. would, uh, wasn't it on a Thursday? Mm -hmm. No, we, it no, was Saturday, Saturday that we did the healing. Yeah. 
Okay, my days are all messed up. <laughs> we, do, we do our webinars on Saturdays. <laughs> so seven days would have been through Ooh. Friday, I think, right? Mm -hmm. So today, would yeah. be, so it ended yesterday. So that's probably why that's got that there. Wow, how interesting. It's no activity in there. I'll just get about to eat it. Body super clean. It doesn't have anything like no, no attachments, no implants. I agree. I've sent you some healing as well. Thank you. Yeah, Deb, it might have been the job of the energy. Just killed it. <laughs> what? It I'm joking. I think it. I think that's <laughs> just dormant. It's... It was so funny though. Yeah. Is that like I a? Guess. Is that like an area we need to fill in, or is that just clean? Like a like a vacuum, you think? Though? Yeah. Well, I'm feeling something in my right hip right the second. You're feeling something in your hip? Yeah, just when you were saying about, do you need to remove it or something? Then I felt something oh, in my right hip. An energy. We're just putting energy in you. Yeah. This energy is going to give you another seven days of healing. Okay, thank you. Is the bandwidth better? Much on, better. On Rainbow's phone? Yeah. I was picking up uh, when I was doing healing, and there's a spirit near you. you might want to connect. I think it's a family member, female. Yeah. Okay. Like, like a grandmother or a, a great auntie, something like that. I didn't ask the question. I'm doing healing, so I'm not. I'm not doing the clairvoyancy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Do you, want, do you want two cards? You're clairvoyant, aren't yeah, you? Deb? Yes, I am. I have all the all the clairs actually. Do you know who this person is? Though? But I don't have them under control <laughs> at all. <laughs> <laughs> they come when they come. Yeah, half the problem is, it's see, the spirit world doesn't allow to talk, contact with you. So it, you're trying to connect with someone that doesn't know how to connect to you. So it's a, it can be very, very difficult. Yeah, but but you definitely got. Do you know who that can be? Then someone that's very similar to you slightly older uh a family member has passed any idea the only one that i can think of which is not blood related but married related yeah my mother eleanor definitely the, yeah. yeah she was the only one that showed me unconditional love when i was a child that's, that's uh, the intent. definitely she's it right in my face just so to... you can stop <laughs> she was in my face just to say i'm here you know one of that yeah, I love them. I'm sorry, say that again, Phil. She was in my face when I was doing healing, just to show presence, just to show the presence she's here. Yeah. So you're healing and listening. <laughs> you need to listen to them to get, me, to get all of them right. <laughs> so healing is stop focusing on problems so that healing is accepted by yourself and listening. This confirms you are listening to them. Use the knowledge and intuition. So I think you just need to connect more. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you've got all this. You've just got to. Thank you, Dan. you got to educate yourself more on, on how to connect better. That's all. Okay. Yeah. It's not okay. easy, though. It's a science in itself. I'll pass it over to. Yeah. I'll pass to Rainbow. He's next. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. You feeling okay since last week? Mm, I'm tired. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Are you dealing with somebody that is um sucking the energy out of you like an energy vampire? You could resist. We have somebody new and yeah, we have someone new in our life, yeah, so, in our life, so possibly. So when you deal with this person, does it do you feel tired after you've dealt, you've dealt with them? Do, yeah. they, do they seem to take a lot of your energy just to it takes longer than normal to know this person or um ask about I know. I don't usually feel tired, but I went on a really long walk today. You what? I went on a really long walk today. Okay. So that could be why I'm really tired. Well, normally a walk would invigorate you actually you're out in the fresh air and oh. believe you're not 
walking with him. Yeah, I was walking with a the gentleman. Yeah. But let's see. I feel like there's somebody taking this energy from you, and I'm not sure who or what. I can't answer that right now. I, it's not a negative energy, an entity. It's a person. Hmm. That's That's and what, what, what creator is saying is um, sometimes you have to learn to say no. If they okay. take too much of your energy and time, sometimes you're too kind. And you have to take care of you first. You can create a shield around you. Yeah. Create young shields. Yeah. I do think the work we did last week would have made you a bit uh, empty in your energy anyway. Yeah. Because we took yeah. some out of you, didn't we? Yeah. 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 So that would have been a tiring expert. And then you've gone to someone who's taking the energy. But you can stop them doing that in yeah. your mind. You can just put a shield around. Yeah. We don't tell them, obviously. Yeah. Okay. It could be somebody you work okay. with, you know, just somebody, and you don't even realize it, that they're sucking your energy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just try and be mindful that, you know, you. that you, you know, your time is precious too. And if they, right. take a lot of, if they take a lot of your time, they're taking a lot of your energy. If they're very demanding and they okay. think they, if they have a, they think they have a right okay. to do this, <laughs> do you understand what I'm saying now? <laughs> Yes, I do. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> they interrupt you. Okay. Thank you. They get demanding. Yes. Okay. Yep. <laughs> All right. You got to say stop. You can have two cards. Say stop. Oh, stop. And naps are great. Cat naps. Take a nap today. Yeah, it's pet healing, a cat nap. <laughs> intentions and forgiveness. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So you gotta set your intentions okay. to create a goal, aim for it, and for forgiveness, like yourself. If you feel angry with anyone, just forgive them. Forgive yourself for holding on to the energy. Release your anger. No irritation from anybody. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. okay, we go to the next one. Yes, ma'am. Joy, request for body scan. Joy, I'm here. One second. Hello. Hi. Hi. Oh, we lost you. Hi. Joy, can you t- put this the the um the light in your face so I can see your eyes? There we go. Yes. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Do you get headaches? Um, no, I don't actually. But strangely enough, like I think it was like a week ago or two weeks ago, I was waking up with a headache randomly, but it stopped. Because I think you have a lost soul inside your head. Really? Yes. Can you look in the camera for me? Yeah. It's... So I can see in your left eye, as soon as you looked in the light, I could tell that there was somebody there. Mm-hmm. That's a person named Jason, he's only 17, and he's only been there a couple of weeks, oddly enough. Mm-hmm. So he knew, that's why you, when you, I asked you if you had headaches, because I got the message that he was giving you those headaches. I have a very strong energy close to me that's making me sweat. It's not Metatron. Joy, do you ever have a pain in your hand? A pain in my what? Hand. Just your hand. Um, I don't have a pain in my hand. Right, okay. It's just some energy just shifted. I just didn't get it. Okay, let's see. But I do have a thumb that I sprained like several times when I was a kid, but it doesn't give me any pain. It just kind of bends kind of weird, but I don't get any pain from it. Right. Yeah, it was like an energy. So that could be it. If you get what I mean. Whether that energy has pain or not, it's very hard to distinguish. It's just the energy shifted. I just shifted into mine. Mm-hmm. What, what happens is I take the energy out and it goes into mine and then I try and evaluate what it is. Basically. Yeah, I, I've got my little finger like that. Yeah. It's that, it's that uh, ligament, I think. And I can't be over dealing it. So. <laughs> but also getting a bit of. Uh, Backache at the top. You neck. Feel, feel yeah, pain, do you have ache in your neck or back, top back? 
my neck yes lately yeah. it's been like sore in my shoulders but especially my neck lately like my yeah. that could be you, you um, might feel at ease in case coming over here hmm? it could be the guy that i'm sending to the light he's um you may feel a change in frequency or in energy because he's re- going to release himself now okay. i've been talking to him so he's he was probably enjoying the healing stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> event. You'll feel energy in your neck now, basically. And it should feel better than lighter. And he's gone now. So your eye looks so much better. I could see it immediately. That's good. <laughs> you may feel energy in the back of your head. You may feel some in your eye. You're going to feel definitely feel it in your neck and shoulders as as uh, Philip puts that energy in there you feel it down your spine into your lower back and across your hips it's all related because it can you feel that joy i feel in my neck honestly and in my head yeah i think uh depth is the head and i'm doing the neck <laughs> it's actually rick i'm just directing you <laughs> that the energy is your neck should feel better now isn't it? yeah Drink lots of water. All of, everyone who's getting healing, bless your water as you're drinking it so that love energy goes through. Okay. And this okay. will last for seven days. Got two angelic cards, oracle cards. Uh, yeah. Just say stop. Okay. Stop. You got children and surrender and release. Yeah. So, children, uh, honor your inner child and have more fun. Surrender and release is, it's, it's, it's as it says, stop hanging on to your worries. Let them all go. Yeah. For anything that worries you, any pain, trauma, you need to release them all. Find a way to release them. Yeah. I think I was You're curious. Just, um, I've been seeing like 555 five, five everywhere and I'm kind of going through changes. Like I recently left a relationship that wasn't serving me. And I keep seeing 555 five, five, and I can just feel like something big coming. And I kind of know like what my purpose is supposed to be, but I just don't know like how or when it's going to come. Is there like anything you can pick up on related to that? Maybe that's why Metatron was, it was Metatron. I was questioning whether, usually when I start burning up, mm-hmm. it's Archangel Metatron near me. Because everybody else I'm used to having around me, Archangel Michael, Jesus, Mary, and Mother Mary. Raphael, because I'm with Phil a lot. We're always with Phil. And um, Metatron's the only one that usually makes me start burning up. But I didn't think it was him. And when you said I see 555, five, five, uh, you that's Metatron. <laughs> um, let's see if he has a message for you. Because it, it was when we were doing your healing, he was right here. I, I think that 555, five, five, it's a very positive change in your life, isn't it? It could be uh, someone else coming into your life. I think, yeah, like a soulmate. Mm-hmm. Why Metatron, didn't I get? Why didn't I get that in the car? Metatron does have a message for you. He wants you to trust yourself. Trust ever. All your tools are in here in your heart. Don't overthink things. Do you over? Do you overthink things? Yeah, of course I do. <laughs> <laughs> I've been working on listening to my intuition and my inner guidance a lot lately because I'll get really strong gut feelings and it's yeah. usually a no or it's a yes. So I'm just like, I was with someone that kind of like made me not listen to that so much. So now I'm working on listening to that inner guidance and that inner voice. So that definitely yeah. resonates. We are our own worst enemies when we don't want to trust our own gifts. We have them. So they're all inside. We have a tool chest sitting there. Right waiting to open up and all of these things to release to us as long as we trust ourselves. We don't need any outside help. We don't. We have everything here. Creator gave us everything we need. He equipped us with everything. Mm -hmm. And that's what Metatron is trying to get across me. And he actually is with you a lot. I don't know if you know who Archangel Metatron is. Never heard of them. He is one of the only humans that it was, it was, became an archangel. Our angels are created by creator by god and he was the only one that was became an archangel from human form so he sits sits right next to creator he's right there yeah i I never heard that before 
It's all right. Uh, I picked a card out four times out of five. It's music frequency. Mm-hmm. So I'd listen to I Night and Thousand Hertz frequency or Metatron's meditation music, which is about Thousand Hertz, I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. I usually listen to 528 like throughout while I'm sleeping. Well, 528 is like your heart chakra. So I'd go a bit higher. Mm-hmm. 900 to a thousand. I think a thousand, I think I've seen one where it's the, uh, where you can connect to the angels. Okay. Right. I'll definitely do that. She is actually, she is actually asking for a cure for a heartache. And then I wrote her, it's not a disease. <laughs> and then I said, true. <laughs> okay. I hope that everything will be okay with you. I know it will be. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. Thank you. Should we go to the next one? Yes, me. Yeah. It's Lena. <laughs> it's Lena da, there. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello, everyone. Hello, later. Mm-hmm. Hello. Um, Lena, can Lena I just ask for a full, full body scan, please? Um, uh, I feel there's some ailments going on around me at the moment. I can't put my finger on it. Hmm. You're under attack. Mm. By who? I'm trying to find out. Who are you? Oh, God, you're killing my back. Your back bothering you? Um, not normally, um, but only just a little bit. Only because I did a little bit of gardening, but I wouldn't say it's um I put it down to the muscle where I, I was doing gardening, but it's been a lot better. I've got these this being that's He's not, he's kind of hiding, but he's laughing and saying, I think he's like a, a not a dwarf, but what's the other ones? Like a leprechaun. Pixie, type. pixie, pixies. And now uh, like a dwarf, like a leprechaun. He could be a pixie, but. Has he attached himself because on the right side of my sacral, um, so if I say low down to the sacral area to the right, do I have anything there? No, I don't see anything there because he's now in my back. Oh, kicking me. I'm sorry about that. All right. This, this happens. I'll get the phone call tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Lena, I hope you don't mind, mind mention this. It's in me. You haven't had the vaccine, have you? No. Uh, um, uh, and we asked, I think we asked you last uh, week. Yeah. It's just there's some speed beans around you. What's around me, sorry? People around you have. I can feel that energy. I do healing. Yeah, that's it. Then. I'm picking. I'm picking. Yeah, I do one. fifth dimensional healing. I do Rahani, which is a fifth dimensional healing. I've been yeah. attuned to that. Right. Yeah, definitely. Right. So are you people? Have you, you doing- ever tried six dimensional in galactic? No. The galactic dimension. That's quite interesting. I'll try it. I'll try it. Would you be it able lives- to attune it to that? Hmm. Would you be able to attune me to that, Phil? Just bring in your chakras from that, your six D D chakras. You'd be already you're already linked to the galactic chakras, so you just bring it in. I'd bring in uh, gold. Uh, it's like a gold chakra. Phil, can uh, you get this little shit out of my back, please? Okay. okay. If you do healing, you'd probably pick this up from healing. <laughs> it's in my ribs, in my lungs. He's laughing. Oh, I'm so sorry, Deb. It's all right. I, I just felt there was something, something's going on. Yeah, you picked up some critters. How? From healing of it. Healing. Is this what I'm doing, healing? You, you can do it now and again. Uh, even yeah. I've got that. Yeah. But I think it was around you. If it's it, it's not in in you, if you get what I mean. It's, mm. it's, it's a, Is he sitting attract- around my aura? Yeah, it's attracted to your aura, yeah. Deb, so you picking up an ulcer? No. Well, geez, I, I wouldn't think so. I don't know how so I, I feel would. like I've, this, is, this, this is what I was picking up, an ulcer towards sort of, if you line it up to the sacral chakra on my right hand side, when there's certain foods I eat, it kind of triggers it off. I feel this gnawing pain or ache, should I say. That's what you feel? Hmm. Mm. That's why I'm asking for a body scan. <clears throat> And so I keep having it up. Are you are you picking that up from someone else? No, I'm picking it up from myself. Okay. I don't see it, 
but I think it's from somebody else that did you heal somebody from that? Possibly. I mean, I've been quite busy. Yeah. Because we don't think it's yours. Right. So let's um you and I but we need shifting because it can't if your energy and their energy is very, very close, it can start anchoring up. Mm. You could yeah. just need a bit more bit more grounding when after you do healing. Mm. I, yeah. I do the halo where and there's a disc around me and it just takes all the energy to to earth but it's not for my eyes good well that thing's gone by the way yeah oh yeah yeah thank you thank you darling thank you <laughs> not saying what i did to it <laughs> you got something here? it wasn't that dark actually we just threw it in a portal we just threw it into another into the underworld yeah just mischievous. Just it reminded me a bit like uh, a leprechaun and, and Chucky. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. Um, so this this thing you've got is not yours. It's left over from somebody else that you are healing, which right. is right. You don't see it attached to you. Okay. It needs going. It can anchor. Yeah. Very rare. One in a hundred thousand or something like that. You've got to get rid of that. Can you feel that energy? No, I felt the energy when you went to the 36 chakra last week. Oh, that's good. Because I think I, I do the high vibration healing. Um, I need something, I don't know. Well, if you're going 4D and 5D, a lot of it's infiltrated. When you're going into the galactics, it's less. It's, it's, you can't go that high, a lot of them. You can remove this yourself because it's not yours. How can I do that, Debbie? Ground it. Okay. Ground, and then you just ground that into send that right into the earth it doesn't it doesn't belong in your body it's not yours so it's something a client brought in that she had attached yes well it's, it was an illness an illness that you healed mm. but the client didn't know she had it right you just didn't ground yourself afterwards that's all yeah i was a bit slap dash yeah. yeah we all do that <laughs> yeah it was late and yeah, I should, I should know better. I should know better. I, I think your chakra might need a little work as well on your emotions. I'd get an orange crystal and, and uh, go at nutrients from the mm. crystal. I, I once had an healer give me a demon that strangled me on the healing bed. So we all get lazy. <laughs> mm. uh, it was the wrong person to strangle. It was actually physically strangling me on the healing bed. <laughs> quite an experience mm. yeah. I'm, a, I'm a judo coach so I know what strangling is strangulation is like uh, so. oh. how do you feel? I think when you were doing healing the head felt a little bit fuzzy but I think last week when you uh, opened up my throat chakra for the like language which I've been getting on oh, really fine. that came out didn't it? I remember it now <laughs> that, that was amazing <laughs> Yeah, that, that was amazing. I haven't stopped. Yep, 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 yep. yep. <laughs> you know, I just don't stop now, you know. It's all tiki 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 ta, tiki 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 ta, wawa, tiki ta, wawa, tiki ta, wawa, It's like it just all comes out, it just flows out now. Uh, I sound more Chinese than I do anything else, but it comes out its soul and I feel so much lighter. Um, when I speak the language, it, I, it feels like it's coming from the heart. The heart opens up. Yes. And the soul, I, can, I feel like I can just breathe. It's almost it like... It was trying um, to come out so much. It was trying so hard. It, yeah. It just wanted to flow. It's the language of your soul. And if you slow it down, you'll yeah. find it is actually indigenous. Start, yeah. Slow it yeah. down. And it sounds just like my language. Just I amazing. Would, I, yeah, I would get a crystal for your sacral because you've locked that in all your life. That's been locked right. away. So your emotional needs needs are building up a bit. So get some an orange crystal and program it with your hand and uh, feed yeah, your sh chakra. Yeah. yeah, feed the sacral. But that was amazing last week. That was yeah. I mean, it's when, uh, when you bought the thirty six um, light chakra. Oh my god, I really felt it even in the the vibration from my hands. It was just yeah. phenomenal. Yeah. That would be nice to receive that again. Oh, that was just which, beautiful. Which means that you can you can tunnel because you 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 could hold it, so you can yeah. hold that vibration. That's galactic energy that you can actually hold. So you, your vibration yeah. is up. Not everyone could do hold that. 
it's mm-hmm. took me a long time to get to that stage. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, yeah. But I've, with you all feeling it and holding it last week without without collapsing or fainting. <laughs> no. Can we try <laughs> it's that good. again? Can we try that again? <laughs> okay, let's try it. Again. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. If anyone gets any of these energies and feel it, I'll try and just switch off. Okay, I've got my hand open. I'm just ready. I'm open to receive. Well, do breaths in, out through your mouth. Do you want me to tell you what I'm feeling as I'm going along? You can do. At the moment, nothing. <laughs> I'm probably empty today. I'm trying to bring down gold, the gold, which is 36 chakra. Did you get anything? No. I don't think you need it, though. I think it did its job last week. Mm. It's like a game of football, isn't it? It was a great game last week. Just a little bit of um, I've just felt a little bit of energy from my hands. Yeah, but that's but last week I felt like this fuzzy, like little pins and needles were going through my head. That's because you needed it. You needed unblocking. Mm. Oh well. Oh well. Look, thank you anyway. <laughs> You know where it is. Just get it in yourself. You're already you're already unlocked though. You're already there. Oh, you have to yeah. do it. You're already unlocked. You've already there. It, there's there's nothing to connect you to. You're already connected. Oh yeah. right. Okay. Right. It's I don't realize. It's up to you. It's up to you to to um, keep the vibration. So mm-hmm. you're already at the point. You can go up and down as you it, for you. That it's just going mm-hmm. up and down with your vibration. You've already been already up there. So. It's up to you to keep it. Yeah. Well, when I do connect, well, I try to connect with my higher self. I always look at the infinity where I go up and come back down again. So it's like a, uh, it's like an infinity loop. Yeah, Lena. And that's how I connect, connect to myself. Connect to your higher self. All you have to do is is tell your higher self you're ready to receive. That's it. It's not that hard. You know, <laughs> no, no. you know. What? I'm ready to receive. You do three deep breaths. I'm ready to receive. You're connected. You're never that. not connected. <laughs> Yeah, that infinity loop, I do that for healing when I'm doing it at the healing centre. Yeah, it's like, I see. It, it, really it, 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 it's like a transformer. You're powering up. Every yeah. loop is powering up and it's going higher yeah. and higher. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's but what, that's but you're higher do. yourself. You don't have to do that. It's not complicated. <laughs> but you're making it so hard. Your higher self is, you, you're always connected. You just, you said the first time I did that and said, I'm ready to receive, I got this huge download. <laughs> Wow. That's it. Wow. But you're always, you're, you're connected to your higher self. You're just acknowledging it. And that it makes you feel better. But sometimes, yeah. sometimes you'll get a download. And, and remember, you can, you can start connecting to higher chakras, like eight, nine, ten D, which I am doing a bit. But be careful. Well, slowly. I, well, I have that. I feel I have that already because when you're attuned to the fifth dimensional healing modality, you don't have, the, the, it's almost like um oh a column a column all of a sudden like you're you're, you're yeah you're it, it, we call it a, like a column it, it's a pillar of light isn't it yeah, yeah 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 and so you 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 end up getting di- more more deeper colors within it it's not just the mm. seven colors of the chakra so i've got more sort of perhaps that's why i needed the 36 chakra golden mm. healing light last week um, yeah. I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful healing modality. Um, and I'm just looking for something also that can get me that little bit higher so I can offer more to, 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 to the humanity that people that cannot heal their hearts themselves. Something like what you guys are doing, you know, like you, you, you've all got such a beautiful soul and to do what you're doing. Um, and I would like to also offer that as well to humanity, to those people that you know who are who who aren't able to heal their own hearts themselves you know um so if i can get guidance trust your guidance you you have angels and guides and you have creator and you have the archangels that will help you through this and they'll guide you they'll teach you and trust the messages that you're getting i just want to help people yeah and that's exactly what you should be doing but you know, remember that you're going to get messages and you're going to get guidance. And it, you know, you when you don't know what to do or you're not sure of the next step, ask in, in telepathically. Ask Father. You know, mm. you know what, what what should I do here? And you'll get a response. And trust the messages you're getting. Yeah, because mm. you do. They do guide you through this. Oh, definitely, definitely. Sometimes I'll see something. I'm like, whoa. Yeah. Well. 
and ground well, yourself had, afterwards. <laughs> you know, De Deb, I've had a client come to me for the past seven weeks, week after week after week, because I give her a massage as well as Rahani. And every week, I swear, she every week she always said, like, she, she experiences something different. So one week she'll say, oh, you were on this side, but I felt someone was holding my hand. And then the week after she might say, oh, I felt someone at my feet. You um, have, well, I, when you do when you do an healing as a black when I do the semi, healing when you do healing as a semi professional someone, you have a team with you yeah yeah you have a team I have about yeah, ten yeah, yeah. and I, I I'm in charge of them yeah I oh, know but work as a team. Fam- I call them my Rahani family you see <laughs> because this I mean we're talking about Queen Yen we're talking mm. about Lord Melchizedek we're talking about you know Paphos well we're talking about so many you know, ascended masters that, that I call in, as well as all the archangels. Right. Um, it's beautiful. But I just, there was something that I just felt blocked. I could not feel, I, I felt, I, you know, when you just feel stuck and I just could not move and there was something I just felt I, I, I needed a body scan because even though I scan my own body, sometimes it's too close to comfort and I needed someone like yourselves to sort of help me scan oh, me sure. to to guide me yeah we have we have phil uh, help us with you know we can't heal ourselves no no it's too hard and sometimes a healer needs healing you know that's right yeah Yeah. Uh, i'm not too proud and it's i'm not the healer you know without the right without the 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 spirit world i wouldn't be able to do anything so my gratitude goes to the spirit world you know um What, what i did last year when i well two years when i broke my ankle and told me Achilles, I arranged a, an Andromeda surgeon to partly possess an healer who agreed, she agreed to fix my ankle. Wow. That was amazing. Was that Dr. Lorpan? Was that hmm? Dr. Lorpan, Phil? I don't know. I, didn't, I don't know the name. But it, he's from Andromeda. He's from Andromeda, Dr. Lorpan. It's probably that. But I arranged him to, so what he did, he used the healer like remote controlling so he did the surgery and she she did see a lot of it she said it was amazing so i did ask i said any chance that i can like have arranged any you know a surgeon from a drama to actually partly take over your body to do work on me (laughs) Uh, well i'm always happy to share some rahani healing with you over yeah uh, you know so We're here to help each other, you know. Exactly. One at heart, and um, yeah, you know, mm. it's just the physical world here. It's the physical earth that separates us, but otherwise, you know, we are all spirit living a human life form, and uh, it, it's pretty tough here on this uh, earth mm. plane. It really is. It yeah, really it makes is. you wonder what you did last to, to deserve it. To come here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you for that. Thank you. So, is there? A, no major issues going on, Debs? No. no. You might have oh, two cards, lovely. by the way. Oh, lovely. Please, yes, please. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, think of the question. Tell us, stop. Stop. Support. You've got a support team who's blessing you. Oh, oh <laughs> there you bless go. the Rahani family. Yeah. And that's for the archangels and ascended masters. So, oh. This support, this is what it's saying, is when you're healing, you are only part of the beings around you. Let them help you as well if you need yeah, support. And I blessing do. and blessings. You are getting extra blessings oh, wow. on any difficulties you've got. So wow. that's not bad, is it? Would you would you be able to tell what 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 star seed I am? What what where I'm from? Start she's from It's not a drama, by the way. No, it's not. Yeah, I'm getting serious. Uh, is that right? I'm getting that. Am I right? Yeah, am I wrong? <laughs> you're you're from the same place Rick and I are from. Yeah. You're from- oh, that's right. You mentioned that last week, didn't you? Yes. <laughs> you know, did you I say? Did. did you say that last week? I, I did, and I forgot all about it. You're from Sirius. <laughs> we are. Hey, and I, I I confirmed it. but I forgot about last week. Right. Yeah. Oh wow! Amazing. Do you yeah. know you're amazing? What what Ricky, Deb, Phil, what you guys do is just amazing. I am so like and, in and awe you do of the you same guys. Thing. 
your beautiful souls, whatever, all, all of you, you know, all I can see here is just beautiful souls because, you know, I don't see the outside. I see what's inside and we've all, if we turn each other inside out, you know, we, we are as bright as a star. So I always say to my clients, we are stars wrapped in skin. Yeah, I've, 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 I've been, yeah, we, we've actually been physically stars as well, of us. But yeah, we yeah. are star, we are star, uh, what do you call it, star? Oh, star yeah, but we also stars, parts of the yeah, star. Yeah, we're stars wrapped in Billions skin. of years old. Stardust. Yeah. That's the word. You yeah. read me, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm from Sirius, too. Oh. oh, Daphne, you are as well. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Lovely. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, Ricky. Thank you, Dave. Thank you. Welcome. And thank you, everyone, for uh, being patient and listening. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you, Lily. Okay. Thank you, Lina. <laughs> thank you. The next one we have Ernestine, but, she, but she's not here anymore. But she wrote here, Deb. Um, I am asking for our friend Deb Wright, her daughter Alexandra. She has been to emergency three times in the last week. They yeah, finally... I, sent her, I sent her a message and said that her picture didn't come up. Here, um, I have it here. Maybe I can, no, I can. Can you see that? Can you see her? Yes. Yeah. Okay, that one. So what was the story again, Lily? Sorry. Um, moment, I have to move. I cannot read. Um, okay. No, her daughter um, from a friend, Debbie, right? Her daughter, yeah, Alexandra. Read. Yeah, and she has been to emergency three times in the last week. They finally hospitalized her yesterday and have her on um, IV antibiotics. Could you please do a healing session for Alex? That is her picture. Okay, so. Talk to you about what I see, Phil. I don't want to talk about it here. Mm, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <clears throat> A lot of sadness there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Next. So next. Maggie, you're next. You've got a, one of the possessing things on your screen again. It's doing the flickering like mine last week. Yeah. <laughs> you're on mute, honey. <laughs> Hello, beautiful souls. Mm -hmm. I finally got a picture, and this is what I I feel that is in my back. But my 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 screen is today playing crazy. It's all the time this light moving. Like, can you see this, uh, uh, Deb and Phil? Yes. I I see this image always before my eyes, and it's really like this. I got um, I have the stability. I can walk, but I cannot go um, in front and I cannot move my neck properly. And if I sit like this position, any breath I take, I feel like the arrows go deeper and deeper. And it's, it's really crazy. I don't know what is this. Yesterday, I got a chance to take a shower and change my clothes because I cannot leave up my arms. And when I take off my, um, when I, I try to take off my clothes, I cannot pull up. I have no power to to remove, uh, to take off my clothes. And I don't know what I'm going to do. And this, my neck is totally stiff. And uh, this arm, even by typing, if I, if I type a message or something, when I finish, I feel that I, I have no idea what is this. You don't get free health care there? You have free health, you have health care there? No, and I don't trust to go to the hospital here, Malta. I don't trust anyone, anybody. Not a um, hospital, chiropractor. Uh, no chiropractic. I have one. If I have to go to him, I have to pay 50 euro. I'm, uh, I'm going to try to do that because he was the only one who helped me last year and the beginning of last year because we've done this healing but the only thing i can think of is there something that's offline that it's your spine definitely your spine 
Yeah, I can feel it when I, I move my neck. I feel that something in my neck is, is not on the right place because I have a very good feeling for my body. And I, I, I don't like to... Do you remember when you fell? Yes. And you, and you, and you scraped your nose and... Yeah, that, yeah. This is what it's from. I fell like this, exactly like this. That's what it's from. It, it, it takes, it doesn't take, it takes a while for it to affect you, but this is what it's from. And also I did it the garden work, you know, work three, four hours with my head down. And always when I, I stretch my back, I was like, oh God, please help me that I can do this without damage my, my spine. And I, I really feel that I'm trying to, to do as less as possible because I don't like to damage another thing. But I cannot stay longer in this situation because I need to to work and do anything. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Can you feel any energy, Marke? Yes, I'm getting very hot right now. Thank you. I've just sent you one of my uh, healing pals that I do on an healing center. He's like a Peridian. It's nine feet. I'll ask him to do some healing on your back now. Please. Thank you. Let's see. I'll create a med bed. I like that. Yeah, that's a good idea to do that. You'll have crystal energy going at the back, and you'll have spiral uh, platinum ray going around your body, and then you'll have central sun at the end to calm your uh, aura field. See, it's a light bed. It's making it light. <laughs> I can feel the energy in the whole body. I even hang on, on my door to lift up my, to stretch my spine. I did it. I lift up my 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 feet from the floor, but didn't change anything. Helping my neck feel. I'm bringing central sun in like a bubble around you and it goes into your aura field. It soaks you. Everything I am open to receive. Thank you. I will finish in a minute. And that's it. How do you feel? Definitely my neck is better now. I can move a little bit backwards and forwards and also if i if i turn it goes better than before try to relax try to relax your neck i know that you're used to holding it real tight you know because yeah. it's in pain try just to relax mm -hmm. i'll tell you if your light light show wasn't on your your on your screen tonight as i was doing it and it went dead bright that would have been quite impressive <laughs> Yes, I was yes, oh my god, which light is this? And it was just it was oh. everything moving. And I say, wow, my light is is shining on on, on TV now. <laughs> You'd be a beacon in Malta. <laughs> yes, and what what a beacon. <laughs> yeah. Is anything else uh, uh, Debbie that I need to know, like a special or or feel like uh, can I protect myself because I am doing decrease, I am doing affirmation and working with light and everything. But I really like to come to a point that I start to work uh, healing and and just bring in, ju just bring in, just do your meditation and bring in higher chakras. Mm -hmm. You, you're, you're, everyone's connected to the higher chakras. They just got to bring in that. Do you want to say stop and uh, let's see what the cards guide you to? Say stop. Uh, there you go. Signs and your prayers are answered. Yes, I have to share something with you guys that was a miracle that I experienced today. I yeah. asked it last night. I did it a very long 20-minute decree is speaking very loud, loud because I was desperately. And uh, this today, it just out of nowhere, I got a miracle that until now, I, I, I don't know what to say or what to do with it because it's, it was too, too big. And I think I am still realizing that I receive it. And this is just wow, 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 wow. I'm, wow moment. I'm, <laughs> My spine maybe is not good enough or my neck, but I am feeling like, wow, I can jump on the ceiling. I mean, if I could. <laughs> Go on, man. <laughs> I was just feeling to dance today and do a lot of things. And I was just, oh, my God. I was saying, Michael, come, let me, help me to dance today. But no chance. <laughs> 
Debbie, I, I like to ask you only one thing. Um, is it possible that my father is is upset with me? Your father? Your, yes. Your creator or your father that was on earth? No, my 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 father that passed because of many years ago. Because I I, I didn't care uh, for him. I care only for my mother and I didn't even say goodbye to him when I left to come to Europe. I did. I don't know if he he for, have forgiven me or. When you pass, you, you forgive everything. It, 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 it's not the same. Like yes, he would have done. Awesome. When you when you when you transition to the other side, it's so different and so it's pure love and light. It really truly is. Things that happen here are forgotten, forgiven. I mean, it's. Oh, thank God. You don't, yeah, you don't. My father came to, my father and I didn't get along. Um, and I was very close to my mother. I was not close to my father. And he came to me in a dream. I never remember my dreams. I never, I, in fact, I don't even know if I dream. I, I'm sure I do. But he came to me in a dream and asked me to forgive him because he was, he was a dick. <laughs> to me. By, me, by to me. me, it was the opposite. I was closer to my father than to my mother. Yeah, no, I was really, really close to my mother. My mother was wonderful, but she and I didn't like the way my father treated her, which is why I didn't get along with him. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, fantastic. And I can, I, it's I can totally play. different. It's totally different. My mother now is my angel. My father is reincarnated. He's a little baby in Spain. Oh wow! <laughs> so nice. Still, still started flickering his screen. Oh, Only for a second. Only for a second. I saw it though. <laughs> I, I quickly stopped that. <laughs> Maggie, your screen's come to me. I must have what? healed your screen and it's oh, transferred. Oh, I need please, to ground some, it now. <laughs> somehow we were connected because when I saw my screen, the light goes like this. I was mm. looking at your screen and your screen it was moving differently. And they say, oh my God, what happened to me and Phil tonight? <laughs> I've, I've, I've took the pain from your screen. Oh, I was doing it again. Ah, you see? Oh, you see? Yeah. Well, you both have it. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the... It's like an applause. It's a shun right out. Look at my yeah, screen. I don't know. I don't know. Hi. <laughs> No, it was very nice. I, I am very happy and grateful. And today my, my heart is beating very fast and strong because I, I could embrace the, the the whole world today. So, and I can't wait to be to do my healing and be myself and go my way and just just move around. I have your father, and it's maybe through his higher self, but he's saying that um he was he could never be angry at you with you please don't feel that way okay. i hope that, i hope that you never feel that i would be angry with you in any way no, i thought that he was uh, uh disappointed with me because i didn't uh, say goodbye to him when i left brazil because i was not myself as well if i say i i couldn't say goodbye to my father because if i say i couldn't leave I was finished when I left Brazil. There was, he, he said, there was nothing left unsaid. Thank God. Say to him, thank you so much. And I love him like before. N nothing changes. <laughs> he said, I know how you felt about me and you should know how I felt about you. I love you very much. I love him as well. Like before. I was until my 13 years old, I was washing my father a feet when he came home from the fields. I was sitting with a bucket next to him and washing his feet. I was, I, my father was my protector. Thank you so much. It was now very, very nice. Thank you so much. Thank everyone for the beautiful love and light. Deb, we can feel, I, I don't know what I'm going to do with you guys one day, but uh, oh my God, you guys are more than, uh, than my guardian angels. God bless you all from the bottom of my heart. I love you all, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank I'm you, shaking friend. the whole body now. <laughs> <laughs> I love you all. Love you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you love you, Maggie. Thank, thank you. you. Get well soon, very, very soon. You're already well, I know.
So the next one we have Liz, Liz mm -hmm. Bar Walker. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> it's my first time here. <laughs> welcome. Well, welcome. It's nice to meet you. Thank you. And I've been sending um, a wish to the universe to help me um, with implants. Um, I'm a contactee, so from a long time ago, and other weird weirdness. <laughs> so, you have some in your head. Um, I don't know. I've been told I had five, but I don't know how to get rid of it. Um, you only have to get rid of it. No, we can do that. Yeah, we get rid of. It. Good. Do they talk to you? Um, I have like um, clear con cognizance, but the the transmission is immediate. If I have a question. It's more, more like I'm talking to myself in my head, but it's there's no voice. It's just a knowing. Well, that's so good. that's good. Um, but do they do they do they try and contact you? The um, negative entities. It, the, the implants. What do they do to you? They can drain you. They can make you ill, or they can give you message uh, voice messages. I don't. I don't know. Uh, I don't have any messages that I know uh, consciously. Um, I don't sense any negativity from towards me. I, I did shield my shield myself a lot. Um, I did have a contact back in 1996, uh, and then over here in the United States when I came, I'm from Brazil as well, by the way. Um, and uh, when I had the contact there, it was a more like um, Arcturian beings, very tall pale blue skin with like a, the color of the suit was like that painting that is behind you on the screen, uh, the greenish blue color. Um, the eyes were bigger than ours a little bit, not too big buggy eyes. I never seen the buggy eyes, never seen no, no, none of the negative. So that I don't know if I if they are doing something to me, uh, I don't know, but you, you, you I don't have memories. You, you can have positive implants as well, but they're rare nowadays. So we'll have to scan you and see what, what we feel. Yeah. Okay. Just relax. Sure. I'm picking up at your nerve angle, by the way. That was very quick. How old were you in 1996? 32. I'm 54 now. Was that the first time you had contact? or? No, my whole life I had contact. But that was the most significant that I remember. Um, and then in 2008, I had an episode that happened. I woke up and it's like my past memories from this lifetime were gone um, from the family, you know, and um, the love from the family, like that connection, psychic connection with the family was gone. I do love them, but it's not the same thing. Um, and I started to see like energetic patterns and everything I looked at at first, like a few seconds and then go back to normal. And the so memory... You, you, you saw the patterns in... Sim you saw symbols in everything, basically. I get that. Yeah, yeah. It's like the Matrix. <laughs> yeah, I've seen some of that. Yeah. And um, and I didn't speak English, by the way. And, uh, and when I had the contact, my dreams started to be in English and I saw a lot of places that i actually been to since I've been here. Um, and, um, I, I had people, one gentleman at the airport, a very strange looking person greet me at the airport when I arrived here. Then when I had my first job, this same gentleman was at the, my workplace and came, I was a cashier, <laughs> it's true for job here. So, um, came to my register and held my hand in a, in a very strange way in the airport as well. And I don't know who they are, like holding like this. I don't know, kind of shake and shakes that. And I never seen them. They just said, we know you are here. You're protected. And that's all. I so I just don't understand any of it. Do you have any marks on your body? Um, what do you I have like birthmarks and uh, no. scars, do you mean? I've been having very bad pain in my back. I, I did have an injury 10 years ago. And it's on and off, but this time with the solar flare, it was just horrible. I couldn't stand up. I was very disabled this past three weeks. And when I go to sleep and it's like no pain at all when I wake up, but then when I start moving around a little bit, it's just boom. So very, very intense pain. Lower back and uh, upper my shoulder uh, on the right side. 
This is going to take a while, uh, Phil. Uh, I'm getting a message that um, what 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 is projected to her is not the truth. So if there are Arcturians that were there, they were showing you Arcturians. They were they were not Arcturians. They were like Project Blue Beam. They weren't real. They look real. So these are not positive beings that are around you. Okay. Well, I'm getting Deb. I'm getting a mix. I'm getting these positive and these negative. You're like in between. You're like a tug of war, and you're an Earth angel. <laughs> hmm? I quite can't understand what you're saying. Well, he's saying that what? there's both. There's, there's. I'm sure there's positive ones that are trying to protect her, definitely. Yeah. But the the negative ones want you because um, you're an angelic number one. Mm. But they've got implants in you. Yes, and um, I think these implants are actually um, preventing me from doing my work here. Yeah. Mm. So that sounds like negative. Yeah. They they're not. They haven't got negative. They're just blockers. Maggie, wow. Maggie, you're flashing us again. Mm. I'll go in. Let's have a look. You might feel this energy, Baba. You might feel the reactions because I'm on a, 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 an alien base at the moment. This is so interesting. I'm in like a, an alien base in probably in a, if I'm not 100%, and it's like a lab, like a gene lab, you know, like an experimental place. That's not surprising. Yeah, and there's a bit of battle going on at the moment. So I think they've been uh, trying to clone you. So. It's very possible. I had severe endometriosis. Um, at 34, I had a uh, hysterectomy because of it. Um, the memory I have is the past life memory that I have very strong, that I was a like a biologist. I collected the specimens in planets where the those specimens of animals, usually animal life, had to be extinct because planetary changes. So I would collect them, the, the their genome, and and bring it to another place where they could live. Uh, that'd be quite good knowledge to 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 that one. And these beings, though, I, I can't recognize them, but they're all suited up and everything. This is basically yeah, like an alien lab we're on at the moment. I've never been to an alien lab before. <laughs> So in uh, 2005, I had a car accident and I had the whiplash very bad. And I was a massage therapist then. Um, couldn't practice anymore because of the pain and inflammation all for many years. Um, and one day I was uh, standing on, I was, I, I sat on the couch in the living room and then I was immediately was standing in my kitchen and the door opened up to the outside was in outer space. And this being came out from outside. It was, it was about this big um, bluish color, jello like creature, squarish, like a frog, but it was square, didn't have eyes or mouth or anything. And uh, it then embedded itself into my into my body. Like it jumped the, on me and, and embedded itself. And uh, I heard my entire body, all the bones cracking and all the pain went away. Everything, I was completely healed by this being. That's amazing. Yeah, that was uh, kind of a miracle. <laughs> that, that, that sounds like a positive one. <laughs> Very positive. Yeah. We, we could do that. Do that. That's quite easily done. Uh, yes. The base is now, we've wrecked the lab anyway. And I, I think they, had, they were creating you, they were creating many beings like you, uh, mm. which we've destroyed. Uh, we'll take the implants out now. I've got a little being that I created that eats implants. So it just makes it easier. You might feel, you might feel, feel some work being done. That was hard work, actually. That took about a week. That was a week's battle there. <laughs> yeah. It took five minutes here, but it's good. Good job it's five minutes. I'm just being told, no, it took two days. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. You feel any energy? Yes, I do. My entire body is like tingling and <laughs> <laughs> my hands are almost shaking. Good. Yeah, I, I think they, they, they're after you because of your timeline as well. So not only the work here, but the work in your timeline from when you were biologists. 
an alien biologist because so, it's valuable information there so. yes so, how do you feel now the implants are gone anyway yeah yes i i was already feeling like overwhelmed with joy just looking at you guys working <laughs> <laughs> so it's just like potentialized now <laughs> so beautiful what you're doing <laughs> amazing base to, to watch. I've never been on anything like it. I think it's on in Earth, but I don't know because it, it doesn't have a, a name tag on it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you are entering. <laughs> you are entering well, in Earth. There's no street signs. <laughs> yes. When I was little, um, I have this image that I maybe, I don't know if it was gray or inner Earth people. Um they were about my size. I was about four or five years old. So they're about like three feet. Um, they were gray? I thought they were Indian because I was in uh, Brazil, uh, very close to the Amazon forest. They kind of looked like the Indian kids. They had like round heads, but they didn't have hairs. Their eyes were the, not. The, the, the people in the lab had round heads, but we had like a shield on it, if you get what I mean. We had like oh, some sort of face covering, so I didn't actually see the face, I just saw like an helmet. But that was round and I thought it was quite odd. I did mm-hmm. think it was quite odd though. Yeah. So they they would take me, that's the memory that I have. I'm not sure if it's true or not, but it's like I go through this big boulder rock, through the through the rock, inside of this big, big, I don't know if it was a cavern or was a spaceship, I don't know. It was just, I know it was a large room. It's circular and was dark around, but in the center was light. I don't know where the light was coming from. And we just were three of them and plus me or four of us sitting in that circle where the light made the circle and uh, just holding hands, not talking, no thoughts, nothing, just vibrating in love and joy, like, uh, like that sense in there. So that's the memory that I have. Um, mm-hmm. Was little. Memory, isn't it? What, and also angels I always had contact with angels when I was little that's because um, you are but... one that's why <laughs> <laughs> oh well uh, so you yeah, definitely I, I are just... one and you're you're actually um you're an aspect are, are you a healer I've been told that being uh I have capacity of healing I haven't worked as a healer so uh, you're, what... you're, you're an aspect of Archangel Raphael Mother, oh. Mary, Mother Mary. Mother he, Mary. It, she's a divine complement of Archangel Raphael. So you're from that. He, he's, he's Raphael. <laughs> you. <laughs> well, yeah. So you should have recognized her. <laughs> yes. I recognize him actually, like very close to him. Not <laughs> that sense, but. Uh, yeah. And it, so you're the, fe- you're the feminine version, which would be Mother Mary. Interesting. But I, I've got this ring to represent Mother Mary's uh, energy. Um, well, there you go. Now you know why. <laughs> well, because everybody that I talk to, like psychics, and they always talk about the ET part of me, not the angelic part of me. Um, well, ET, they call them ET, but they're higher dimensional beings. With the, yeah. Yeah. Mother Mary is an ascended master. Yes. And <laughs> when I was seven years old, I had this, um, I always had uh, out of bad experiences and all, but uh, at seven, I had uh, this encounter with uh, an ascendant master. That's how I understood that was, it was a um, very beautiful face, like in his thirties. And um, the eyes were, the color, the eyes was like looking at a star at night. It didn't have a color, it was just that beautiful brilliant eyes and very very black jets uh, beard beautiful very groomed well groomed and all and uh wearing a turban and was in a white horse like those arabian horses i guess it was an arabian horse <laughs> and and dressed like an arabian like a, a tear and and i kept looking to who was this man because i he just went to me like this to to silence me say don't say don't tell anybody that we are having this encounter right that's what that's the sense and later on i looked at like i found a book that about the the the, um, 
Irina Blavatsk Theosophy, and I was the standing masters there. That's the first time I, and I was about 14 years old when I found it. And I was like, it looked like Master Moria Khan, a standing master Moria Khan. And uh, I don't know if it was him. Some says also that he was an incarnation of Jesus, um, the same Christic consciousness. Um, but then my life changed and now everything, and I, I put everything back behind me for a very long time, 20 years. But, you know, you can't hide those things. <laughs> I'll just keep pops up. Pops up here now. You can't deny it. So and then I, when I, um, I end up coming here to America, and I tried to be a massage therapist, and then I got this weird car accident to stop me. And, and I had this um, the encounter with the, this being that the, was teaching me how to pilot the, the ship. And, um, and I remember it was a ship parked behind a huge tree that was still in Brazil in 1996. Um, there was, and when you look at it, you can see a little bit of glare, like a very faint uh, stoke bubble. It was transparent. And in, in, the, in the engine, that I remember seeing the engine inside of the ship. Um, it was two very large crystals. There was like um, like diamond shape cut, like a diamond shape. But the 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 sharper ends were like like close to each other, and there was a ring, like a metallic ring around it. And that was that that was the engine. That was that that's that's it. And Yes, I, I remember very well. And then, um, and over here, I always try to do my work, but I said something's preventing me. I don't know if it's because it's not time to do yet or or what it is. Now I have a, a small group, um, online group that we meet every week to talk about higher uh, consciousness stuff. Um, but I wasn't able to do anything so far in my life at all. What happens to these dark beings to try and stop? The ones that be here to do the work here and they, they go in timelines they know who, who you are and they try and stop stop you on your path they try and make you go dark that's what we do they'll do everything they ever can to make you go dark so if yeah if if their light workers ever got an addiction they'll push it yeah so yeah that's why you, you like the car accident everything they plan they manipulate things so well yeah <laughs> So, yeah, but, but and, where where are you to stop them? So, yeah. Can you tell me if um, if my husband is part of it? Because I tried to leave him, and my my feet was just like glued to the ground. I couldn't move my legs. That was so weird. I never never seen anything like this. Um, you have a like picture, I, you have a picture of him. Um, yeah, um, I have it easy for you. I think I can make an appointment with you so you can take more time if you would like. It would it's be probably better. a good idea. <laughs> okay. All right. Then I'll make an appointment with you guys. Um, then we can talk more freely. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I forget that. Yeah. Good so idea. For now, then um, let's, uh, let's, Let, let's pick a card. <laughs> let's pick two cards. Okay. Just say stop. But I have this kind of a positive energy on me that, that nothing can push me down ever, ever, ever. That's, That's a really good thing. Tell him I, to stop. Tell him to stop when you want him to stop. For stop. The <laughs> he stopped for you. I, I had four dark ones, yeah, trying to wreck my path all my life. And my soul anger froze me in my timeline. And then a medium came up to me and said, sources told me about the freezing. Do you want to be released? So... Oh. Hello. Okay. Healing. And so dreams and healing. The healing is. Uh, is that a dog? Healing. It's a dog. I wouldn't focus on the pro problems, and the healing will just be accepted. You know, you'll get healing better if you don't uh, focus on on these difficulties that you obviously got all your life, and start focusing on your dreams. You're getting messages for your dreams. Sometimes, what I do. Well, I've done in the past when I was getting messages is uh, get a pen next to you, a pad of paper, sure. and just write down. Okay. But be, they're sending you messages in their dreams. Now, that's after our healing, after getting rid of implants. So, what they might, the cards are saying 
the cards are giving the message now, but you're going to get messages in your dreams because you okay. know, you know, they're, they're not manipulating you. Okay. Oh, I see. Through my dreams, because I can't yeah. remember my dreams. This is what's going on. Uh, yeah, but now you have that. Now no implants. There's nothing oh, to stop it. So. Okay. Thanks. Right. Um, you can go through the web page or contact us on Facebook to make an appointment. Awesome. I will do that. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you doing such beautiful. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now. Yeah. Go to the next, Laila. Hi again. Hi, Laila. Yeah, I need just scan and healing, and if there is any messages for me from source. Okay. I see your stomach tightening up. Are you going through some anxiety? Sometimes. <laughs> What's what good is it? It's not good for anybody. It's a waste of time, a waste of effort, waste of energy. Mm. Yeah. Luckily, next week I'm getting out of my toxic workplace. I'm so happy for you. Yeah, yeah. And take vacation before starting my new job. <laughs> What's your new job? Is it the same thing? Yeah, but with nice people. Good. Good. Yeah. Good. Are you going on your holiday? Oh, Sorry. Anywhere are you going um, anywhere exciting on your retreat? Yeah, I, yeah. Actually, I'm just visiting my my country to visit my family after nice. six years. Excellent. Good. Yeah, I've got an energy next to me. Really, Archangel Uriel's here. You talk to Uriel? Mm. I've never had a Uriel. From, I don't think he was here earlier. On uh, life, soul saving. Oh, Uriel's making me sweat now because he's never been in my space before. He's giving me a message for you that you're going to be moving. Where? <laughs> he's, it's not going to be right away, but um, it may have something to do with your new job. Do they have other locations? No. Mm. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can be not yet. <laughs> mm, interesting. Yeah. It's not, I think he's saying it has to do with a with a relationship. Mm. Do you know what he would be talking about? No idea. Well, may, possibly a new relationship. Interesting. Mm -hmm. He said actually, it, it's a good thing. It's a really uh, good thing. Yeah, actually, I could feel the change of energy around me from bad to good. I could feel it myself. Yeah, and he's saying that that things are going to change for you. And really good good things are coming. Yeah. You, you don't need much healing. When you when your vibration goes up, your healing goes within anyway. You, everything gets you heal yourself basically. Yeah. When you have negative parts or negative negative mat, mat things create illness, manifest into illness. Yeah. And and it's time st and stress brings on illness. Yeah, definitely. And um you have a little bit. You had some anxiety. I could see your stomach muscles tightening up. And um, it, as we awake people to realize to just release that. Don't let it get, don't let our bodies get affected by this kind of stuff. It's way, it, it's just a waste of energy. It's not going to change anything. Yeah. And so all it's doing is, is lowering your vibration and making a sickness in your body. So, okay. But do you want that? No, let it go. Ground yourself and release it. Yeah, I can feel it. Yeah. So, but everything for you is going to change for the better. So enjoy your trip. Yeah. Thanks so much. <laughs> Should I say stop the two cards to see what this uh, journey okay. is going to be like? Okay. Stop. I'm going to do it again because that's the same cards as last time. <laughs> Let me shuffle it again. Okay. Healing dreams. Stop. If I got it again, then you can have it. All right. Study and listening. Yeah. yeah. So listening, this confirms you are listening to them. Use use your intuition. So if you get any signs or anything like that, use your intuition. And study is probably a new job, actually. Look for new skills and ideas to grow up your journey. Yeah. So, yeah. So the job might give you a bit of that as well. Yeah. This new job has a really different energy and different, yeah. different and nice people. You know, as soon as I got the job offer, totally my energy changed. I could feel it, you know, just I feel just I'm just yeah, leaving this place. How is possible? Three years I was in a really toxic place. It was like a 10 years for me. It was not three years. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm happy about that. Thank you so much. Thank welcome. you. Yeah, thank you for everything. Thank you, Rick, Dave, yeah. and Phil. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Good seeing you. Thank you. Thank you, Laila. So we have the next one. Daphne. Hello. Next one is Daphne. Hello. Hi. <laughs> so yeah, I've been doing a lot, like two weeks straight of uh, getting, receiving guidance, uh, releasing, purging, healing, all that beautiful stuff. And my, um, <clears throat> I'm connecting real easy to what I need to do and get a lot of help. Um, but, and Lily will confirm every once in a while, whenever I ask for healing, I'll, now nah, I can do it myself, right? <laughs> and I back out, but I'm getting that I, I really need to ask for your help today. Okay. Um, okay. So uh, I've tried just sitting here during this session, trying to locate uh, pain that's in my back or, or in the back of my head and my neck. It's traveling. So I think there's something there. Um, I'm also feeling very drained and like a dull headache, constant headache. It just, uh, with the traveling dull pain and going up and down my spine and into my neck. It, and shoulder. Yeah, it, if it's going up and down, it's my, the chance of that is a spiritual parasite. If the pain moves, it's not the body, it's, it's the parasites creating the pain. But okay. we'll, let's scan and check. So that's yeah. what we normally have. Yeah. Yep, you have that and you have a lost soul again. I'm, I'm getting your day. Mm. She does have a parasite and she has a lost soul. Yeah. I wonder if the two are the same. I wonder if they're linked. They come in at the same, you know, yeah. same look. Okay. Good question. Mm. Yeah. A lost soul means it's grounded itself. Did it have yeah. a parasite with it? Yeah. Every, time I, every time I try to focus on, on it, it would move. Mm. They're very quite intelligent. Mm hmm I, I used to heal her, the person who did healing as a profession, and she said that every time I used to sit, we, it, I, it, it's, she saw me, the para, spiritual parasites, half of them would go up her arm, and the other half had died in the body. <laughs> so so that would be very intelligent. Yeah. 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 Now, now I, I might have a, a crystal diamond light entity that I've joined and joined with in my body. So you can, you can leave that there. Yeah. That, <laughs> no, I'm, only gonna, I'm only going to take care of Leonard Albert Sarkosti. Oh, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll sort the parasite out. You Here, Leo. The last soul out. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Quite a few of them coming up in the last couple of weeks, these souls. It's Leonard Albert Sarkovsky at your service. Ah, may we serve you well too. <laughs> 97 years old. Yeah, that's a good long life. Maybe reach higher he, limits yeah, than that. He wasn't ready to go. He's kicking and screaming still. <laughs> oh, he's oh, so loved, Leonard. You're going to come back and... He wanted to stay with this hot chick here. You. Uh, <laughs> yeah. If last night I let go of... Uh, <clears throat> the on, you online. You didn't, hmm? didn't talk your ear off. You didn't hear him. Ah, no, I didn't. I haven't heard him from get go. A lot go. of chatter. A lot of chatter. Oh, my gosh. I'm trying to calm him down so I can, you know, you're attracted to her light, her, her beauty. Look in your heart. I'm trying to get them done. Once they start opening up that, that little pilot light there, and they, mm. get, they get that light going themselves. It, it's, okay. I'll feed they, up some love. They, then, <laughs> well, once he gets that going, then it climbs them down, and, and then they get, oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm feeling my heart right now too. Yeah. yeah. They're full of love and then they, they want to go. <laughs> We've been so blessed by your presence, Leonard. We've got nothing more than you, your happiness and your goodness to go into a new life and a new journey. Eternal life. Mm -hmm. Yes, eternal life. What a new journey, new wonderful journey. Bless more people. Whew. Yeah. Yep, he did it. He's ready. Yeah. He's ready to go. Mm -hmm. he, started, he was going, oh, she's nice. <laughs> All right. Parasite, parasite's been killed. It's yeah, like a black beetle. Releasing himself now. Yeah. You got a beetle inside your back. Yeah. Just giving you healing now. Wonderful. Now, having a bath this morning and felt like I had an iron collar, you know, one of those slave collars. 
in prisons. Yeah, had one of them wrapped around my neck. So and now I, you know why you had all this going on. Oh, I also, you know, had guidance that I had to release programs around poverty, persecution, and slavery too. So that was just confirmation as well. So yeah, it's just like every day there's something more, you know, it's a total clearing of this this uh, soul and life and lifetimes going on. And you feel that energy. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, I can. Thank you. I feel it going up my side, my back. Still have um, pain in the lower back of my head and on the, the right side. I'm used to having, you know, pains and discomforts. I just and headaches for the last three days. I, you know, I used to credit to my ascension, but uh, this one's a little different. But I know I've been so tense too. It's good to relax. You should feel just the energy now. Yeah. Now I see a, a rose heart <laughs> in my third eye a lot whenever I'm, you know, doing work or connecting or or just feeling good in my in my heart. And other times I I'll see a yellow heart or I'll have um, a shape of a heart with black in the middle and it's yellow glowing all around it. It's almost like a puzzle that fits together. <laughs> I've had that for years. Oh, the alien's done now. Thank you so much. So much. Yeah. So I'm all good, Elle. Otherwise, you're good. Mm. I'm good. Perfect. Thank you so much. I, I, don't, know it. It, I don't know how it got in. Ah! But, yeah. Okay, I'm not good. I'm great. Uh -huh. <laughs> right, say stop. You can have two cards. Thank you. Thank you, Zot. Stop. stop. <laughs> oh, I would be gracious too. Ah, interesting. I don't think I've had these cards before. Mm. <laughs> Freedom. Freedom. <laughs> one day we'll one day we'll get it. <laughs> New beginnings. Oh, card? wonderful, wonderful. Well, that's what I'm doing all this hard work for. So yeah, exactly. For both right. of them. Thank you. Embrace all these opportunities, friends, projects, and freedom, which is quite. <sighs> if you feel you you've got the keys to unlock your prison. Yeah, I do. Yeah, that's yeah. this is all part of it. We're all just doing our work so that we can, you know, focus on better, right? Yeah, yep. exactly. All right. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. Thank You're you. Welcome. All right. Okay. The next one, the last one, is Ryan. There you are. Ryan. Howdy, duty. How's it going, guys? Uh, yeah. Good. Okay. What's going on, Ryan? <laughs> I just wake up with headaches, you know, like headaches um, from sleeping. Headache? Well, it's because you have Sally O'Malley in your head. <laughs> Sally O'Malley? Who? A dead, a dead person. <laughs> Sally O'Malley. Awesome. Yes. She's 90, 90, 91, 91, 92, 92. I don't, think she, know, I don't <laughs> think she knows. <laughs> and she, well, I asked her if and she said 92, then she said 91. She said, no, no, 92. But Sally, um, Sally thought she were pretty good looking. <laughs> 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 but she thought she had join you. <laughs> I don't know why she, she would want she's to be. All, she's not been there long, obviously, since we saw you last week. <laughs> uh, was, she, is, was she in my throat or something? No, she's in your head. <laughs> she's in your head. Well, I've got a headache, too, so. <laughs> that would be why. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't how, I don't know how they come in. Like, I know I do a lot, as I always do at nighttime. Like, I'm always moving around and talking to people, doing the same old stuff. Like, I can't stop it. I'm just, you know, like. You just attract them and stuff. See, you have people have light, and then when they don't know where to go, they they go towards a light. It's a it's a, actually a false light. So they just go where they're attracted to. So sometimes they, so, they go they go just to pick your energy up because they haven't got any life force left. Yeah. So uh, they sometimes know it's false light, but they know they can feed up it a bit because they're scared to go forth. You know what yeah. I mean? They've and then I'm allowing it, like I'm allowing it. Uh, well, you happen, aren't, aren't you're, it was probably when you were in the astral and you really weren't there. Yeah, it's but, someone else's. You know, you, you're, just a, you're just a charity with your energy. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, 
And there's, I mean, lots of people get them and they're not, they're really, they're not trying to harm you. Most of them aren't. These are not like they're alien beings. They're people that just crossed over and then they don't, they don't have any type of belief system. So wow. they're just, oh, they're, oh, they're, oh, oh, they're too scared to go yeah. to cross yeah. over. Yes. And they, uh, they, they need the energy of you. Yeah. Like religious programming, you know? Yeah. Yeah, and you're, there's, you're there's some athlete. there's some that just wander. They're wandering around the earth. They they don't even they just walk around. They go from place to place. The Rick used to bring him home from the grocery store. They follow him. Did you order? Yeah, it? that's where they are. Deb, did you did you place the order for him? Get some <laughs> dead bodies, dead people, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did. They started talking to yeah. me because he he doesn't hear them. I, they I I just said you brought people home. He was waiting me. I said, "They're dead people following you." They were at the. It, there's a bar. There's a full bar in our grocery store here, and they were hanging with their friends. That it was, they used to hang out at the bar with them, so they would go to hang out with their friends that didn't see them anymore, but they would see their friends there. So they saw Rick walk in the door, and he had this bright light. So they were like, they, they followed him home. They wanted to know what this bright light around him is. Jump on his back, you know. Mm-hmm. He they bring two or three. Yeah, he, he really always good. bring people home with them. And I was, I, I said, you're bringing stragglers home again. Hold on, uh, uh, you've been in the bar again. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't miss it. It's it's right in the middle of the store. When you're going to get food. It's there. You walk right by it. <laughs> so yeah, it, even though he's not drinking, it, you're walking by it. <laughs> so let me get rid of. Uh, What's your name? Sally oh, O'Malley. That's right. <laughs> Let me get Sally out of there. Thank okay. you. Sure. See you later, Sally. <laughs> We're going to send Eileen to your back because there's some. I think I think she might have done some energy. You know, some to your back a little bit. Oh, thank you. Okay, she's going. She's pulling all of her self out now. They can cause pain where they're attached <clears throat> to you, mm-hmm. and they'll release. <clears throat> Then we'll go back in and heal that area once she uh, releases. She's released herself now. She's leaving. Yeah, I feel lighter. Yeah, you feel you feel different. You can feel it. Yeah, I do. I can, yeah, my vision has increased. Yes, yes. Perception. <laughs> yeah, that's where she was in your forehead, right behind your eyes. Yeah, they create like a bit of a yeah. overlay. Yeah, she's gone. It, the funny thing is, I it, you know they they don't realize they have the same light and. I told her, I said, you want to feel young like he is? And she said, yes. I said, do you have a little pilot light? I said, make it as big as the sun. And she did. And as soon as it starts, she she gets this wonderful, loving feeling. And she released herself. And that was the fastest one yet. Yeah, I want to feel younger. Yeah, she need that, yeah, she need just, that awareness. Yeah, she just, she just needed to feel the same feeling of love and and. And empowerment, but you know, she was afraid. Uh, anyway, she's gone. You're being healed now. I've done healing on his back. Yeah. I'm doing Thank his you. Head. Nothing in my throat, eh? I'm always you're feeling my doing, throat. You know, I'm gonna check your throat out. That was last week. Is it feeling? Yeah, I'm, it's constant. I feel like there's a, uh, like, just like, you know, it's like there's a constant infection from, from that, like, um, that biology like what do they call it? like a, it feels like a just like a infiltration in the throat mm. what the heck are you doing in astral this is it's like well, i'm jumping from planes i'm driving around like i'm jumping and i'm talking to people and i'm um i'm quite active just are you screaming and, and... Well, no um it just feels like when i wake up i feel like because i've been seeing so much very intense so screaming probably on the same wavelength as having an intense experience just saying ryan you'll have to stop picking up 92 year old women we give you problems <laughs> go for the 80s they're much more fun <laughs> yeah <laughs> right, I'll, I'll do my i've done my i'm empty i know thank you it wouldn't be a surprise after how long you guys do all this say hey? five hours <laughs> yeah. I've healed your throat again and your and your head. Your neck, like your neck. You should feel better. Feel better? Thank you. Yeah. 
like you know constant swallowing like i even put like ice cube in it so it would feel like put like an ice thing in there swabbed it with ice and cold so it would take the the rawness away and the redness it's like mm, well, you can see that yeah i could see it was raw yeah it's like yeah. You, like you were screaming or somebody shoved like a it took something and ripped your lungs out or something it was like raw yeah and i didn't talk to anybody i'm not never talking i'm not even using that part it's like you screamed and hollered and or somebody took and clawed your throat it was just so raw that's why I it could be getting abused here in the in the astral. That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> if you're looking, <laughs> <laughs> that's not the kind of abuse you want. <laughs> Sorry, it's like <laughs> I don't really want that. <laughs> you got right anyway. Sorry, sorry about that. That's bad. <laughs> I feel like I go very, you know, transhumanism. Like, I feel like I go to very transhuman type of places, you know, like artificial. Mm -hmm. I'm on those kind of timelines, I feel like, very artificial timelines. So what are they doing? Taking your head off and putting it on a, on a robot for a while and then putting yeah. it on your body? I feel like, yeah, I feel like I'm in a, like, a, I feel like I'm in a, it's very artificial. I feel like I'm in a very artificial place. Like, I'm, like I'm in either in, a, in another body that's artificial or they do something to my body here or... Uh, yeah. something I have to experience to figure out, I think. So we're going down that transhumanism, like time is a timeline where we're very half, you know, I'm not robotic. No, any, yeah, you're going down the organic. No, not me. <laughs> transhumanism. I'm going to stay human. I don't want that timeline. <laughs> <laughs> no. I think I'm tapping into that, though, at night time, just tapping into that very artificial, like you press who things. Wants, press who, wants that? who wants that? Nobody wants that. Well, supposedly half the population do. Don't they? They don't. Or they're know. not aware of it. Yeah, but they, that's because these kids are on video games all the time. They think that's cool. Yeah. They are, do. They realize what they're asking for. Yeah, because where your energy goes, you create that timeline. Like if you're looking at digital um, things, and you bring that into your timeline, don't you? Hmm. If you use it more, like fifty-one percent, yeah, you know, use it more than. Uh, looking. That's not the. That's not the light controlling. That's the dark controlling you. Yeah, because you get programmed through that. Yeah. Yeah. As long as you look at nature like 51% more than you do at a screen, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That's not the timeline we want. Plus, they're putting everything, like they're doing that to everybody, which is putting them on that timeline too. Yeah, well. Like a forced, a forced timeline. I know. It's got to change. Especially to take out all the adults but keep the kids because so you can keep the, you know, what people know like a reset, like they've done this many times, like reset the population, take out the adults, and then you have all the kids left over, you know, and then you can program the kids to believe a certain way, you know? Yeah, I think we're coming into that one now. <laughs> yeah, we're, you know, the last time we had all the, you know, the um, orphans, so we had all the orphan kids, and like there was no adults, and the orphan kids were working in the factories, well, that's because there were no adults left, they're all taken out, and then you have the kids, and you bring in the kids, and then you have the orphan trains, and they, and you start a whole population again, which is kids, so you can remove all the all the old memories of what used to be, you know, and start a whole population with a, a limited awareness of what's happened before. But they don't know that the spirit can hold memories anyway, so we can remember even though the human has been limited. <laughs> Another great reset. <laughs> yeah, like whether it's artificial or natural, because we're living in a kind of a holographic computer, quantum computer mm -hmm. feels like it i know i i once uh, <laughs> ryan i fell out of the matrix once i lost i lost how half a day half a sunday how'd it feel was it better than here uh, i was talking to these little i was talking to these aliens that were dark green and they had like two lumps on the face and they were talking to me in my mind saying how i got out of the phantom matrix how it's impossible well, it's not impossible. <laughs> no, I don't believe anything is impossible. Yeah, you, you must have you must have glitched out, like got out of the yeah. out of the the bubble, the bubble reality. Well, when I came back, it was a video I was listening. I ended up being in the video, and I was trying to talk to the people in the videos to say I'm here, and they had like white light glowing off them, but no one could see me. I was in like a 4D reality, and I was trying to contact them. <laughs> it's very very. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. And you'd have to lower yourself to see them, like connect to them. Yeah. But uh, I'd lost half a day. 
the video was still playing. It only played two hours and I'd lost six hours time. How does that happen? <laughs> that yeah, three, well. It was half past three in the afternoon. I started at 10 o'clock, uh, half nine in the, mor- in the morning. And so the video took six hours on a two, two hour video. <laughs> yeah, it just shows your time isn't even linear at all. Uh, it went with very weird. That was a weird day. Yeah. Right. Do you want two cards? You can give me one. <laughs> you want me to give you one? <laughs> yeah. Save your energy. Put... <laughs> I'm not. I'm not even commenting on that. Though. I'll just dig myself an hole. Just say stop. <laughs> stop. Right. I think I got yeah. You. you need to play with your inner child. Yeah, that keeps going up. Playfulness. Yeah. That keep on coming up. Need to have more fun on yeah. the journey. Oh, that comes up a few times, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I don't really know how to have fun down here, but I'm figuring it out. Music, music seems to be good. Yeah. All right. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Have a lovely night. Have a lovely night.